Okay, come on, jazz hands, people. Let's see those jazz hands. Come on, there we go. Babyface P is doing jazz hands. Mike from ATI Outdoor is doing one jazz hand because who knows? He's got jazz in the other hand. <laughs> and Walter, Walter's doing it, doing it also. Okay, we are live. We are live. I hope you got your really skimpy little mini uh, big girl panties on. I don't know. That sounds kind of like the mini big girl panties. <laughs> mini. The floss, the floss panties. I hope you have those on tonight <laughs> because uh, it's going to be a great show. We've got Mike from ATI Outdoors. There he goes, right there. Yeah. One of the get, one of the people. ATI Outdoors keeps helps keep the light on here in the studio, right. except for yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> except for yesterday when we had no electricity. <laughs> so uh, yes, this is uh, what is this podcast number three twelve. ATI Outdoors, new mini for SHOT Show 2019. We're not going to show you what it is right now. We're not going to show you what it is right now. We're going to get to that here in a second. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, while I'm doing the intros here, you know, you know, you guys know when Mike is here, he gives away stuff because he's he's like a bald Santa Claus <laughs> like in terms of beard. He's not he's not bald oh, oh, oh. in terms of the beard. So Mike's going to give away some stuff. Um, we're going to give... Let's see who out there can tell us what the mini is. So start making your guess right now. Post them in the uh, chat. Babyface, you keep an eye on it. Guess what the mini is. Um, it's somebody that who the person that guesses correctly. Oh, are they getting something? Yes, they're gonna get a prize. They're gonna get a prize from 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 ATI Outdoors. Okay, which we'll announce here in a second. So you guys start guessing. That was Babyface P. There he goes, right there. I'm watching. I'm watching to see and who all wins. His, all his uh, handsome handsomeness, uh, rocking the old school Hank Strange patch. Uh, Walter's also here. Walter, what's Walter rocking? Oh, Safety Harbor patch on the head. There you go. Uh, there's Mike from ATI Outdoors. Rocking the ATI Doors hoodie, which um, are you the only person that has one of those hoodies, Mike? Because I mean, I'm my wife guy. has one. <laughs> <laughs> what about the rest of us, Mike? The rest of us the, would like the, to get our hands on the one. owners of ATI don't have an ATI hoodie. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! What is going on? What is going on here? You can't get no swag out of out of Mike, except well, we do. Well, we got some swag. We got oh, some swag. stop it. Yeah, we just can't get a hat. We can't get the hoodie yet. You just can't get the premium swag. That's yeah, we can't. Yeah, exactly. Oh, exactly. Yeah. All right. All right. All we got us a winner. All those yeah. gun parts I send you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have a winner. Uh oh. Who was so the Archangel? You put in two two of them. You can't. Yeah, you should have picked one, man. Uh, Richard Hughes, 1911. What? Oh, Jesus. So Richard Hughes says. Richard he Hughes. Cheated. He's yeah, guessed. Richard. Yeah, he Richard Hughes is just prolific. Have to or something. Come on. Yes. I mean, it took a lot to get to 1911, but yeah. So, okay. Mike, do you want to do you want to show us something here? We're gonna get real in depth into this. We're gonna get real in depth. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they're ready or not. Come on, guys. You guys have <laughs> to hit the thumbs up for this. Hit the thumbs up. Share this. This is really cool. You guys are gonna enjoy this. Let's oh, see it. let's do it. Oh, it looks so cool. <laughs> Check that out right <laughs> when it, it, it all works I feel, from what I've been told. I got to open it. That open is one. really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. No, there you go. Awesome. This is all they get, Mike. This is all they get. We don't, we're going to go into the details here in a second. We're going to go, oh, oh okay. insertion. We oh. have penetration. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dual swings. Swing, swing. <laughs> As as Walter already yeah. said, yeah. there you go. All right, awesome. Congratulations to uh, Richard Hughes who picked that out. We'll figure out. Um, Michael, let us know here in a second what he wants to uh, hit Richard Hughes up with. And um, if you didn't guess, but you want to get something, here's what we have going on. I'll tell you guys right now. Go to ATI Outdoors on Facebook and on Instagram and comment. Uh, Mike just made a post up there with him. And uh, reenact the post, Mike, because I think it was you. You just did it right <laughs> here, right? Just yeah. reenact that post that you did. Boom! There you go. Right. <laughs> so go comment on that, like it, all that kind of good stuff. Um, share it if you can. I, I know on Instagram, you can uh, you can share stuff out to your friends. So please do that. That helps. Uh, 
boost up that pulse. So share that with friends on Instagram, share it with friends on Facebook. And uh, we're going to go in there and we're going to pick someone. And just as a hint, we might, we're going to pick somebody who shared something. So you know, I hope you know how to, <laughs> Babyface, do you know how to share on Facebook? You know how to do that? You can do like, all you have to do is at your friends. You know, I don't know how to do that. Come on. You know I only work that. in technology. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm just checking. You are always teasing me about knowing how to do stuff. Oh, how do you do man. that? Yeah. Uh, I got some tech to show off to you later, but we'll oh, get, okay. get right, on cool. with the show. <laughs> yes. So that's so that's what's going down. If you if you'd like to win some stuff from ATI, go to Facebook, go to Instagram, comment, share, like, all that kind of good stuff over there. And we are going to go in. I'm just telling you guys ahead of time that we're going to go in and do that. Okay, so uh, let's let's get to the big thing here, Mike. What are you guys calling this, 1911? Uh, I'm assuming it's the Hank. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. You heard it here. Live. <laughs> that is legally binding. <laughs> no, what yeah. are you calling it for real? Ah, oh, just thought. ATI Mini in 1911, so. Okay, there you go. Keep, keep there, things simple. Yeah, so <laughs> ATI Mini 1911, that's the hashtag right there. Somebody start that hashtag right now. Get that hashtag going and let us know what you guys think about it. Mike's going to get into the, uh, he's going to get into details of it here in a second. Mike, is this just your first time coming on for this year, right? Yes, yeah. It's been a while. It's uh, since I was down by you, so that had been a little over a month ago. Oh, okay. Happy New Year. Happy New yeah, Year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know. How, what is the temperature in Wisconsin? Yeah, it's um, fucking cold. Is the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is the temperature. Yeah, no, it's, it's actually, for us, it's actually been really warm. It's been in the 20s. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh, really? Hey, that's <laughs> for for middle of winter. That is, that's great. Middle There's January. no snow on the ground right now. It's in the 20s. I can deal with True. this. True. Oh my <laughs> god! Oh my god! Ooh. Oh, I thought it was cold here. What's our temperature here? I don't know. It's a little forty-five right now. I think. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah that's so. Chilly. If it's forty-five it's there, it's probably fifty-five here. So, yeah, we need hoodies, guys. Fifty-three <laughs> here. I don't. Fifty-three. <laughs> yeah, we really need hoodies here. So. 53, we don't see that until like May. <laughs> that's shorts weather. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's the 40 is shorts. That's weather. women weather. Come yeah. on. <laughs> Actually, um, after the show last night, Lola and I met with my friend Mark, who's he's been on the podcast. I think you guys know him. And um, when am I gonna take a ride in his car? Oh yeah. Mark has a Mark has the uh 2019 bullet Mustang. Ugh. Boom. Very, you know. He uh, like when he was driving off and we were separating on the road, he like revved up on me when I was sitting in traffic, <laughs> which is a violation. You know, you can't like rev up on a guy when he's sitting in traffic and you're like, take that's not cool. So <laughs> I didn't get to actually show him, you know, show him up. But anyway, Mark still rock. He's rocking shorts, man. That's o that's the only thing he wears. So as cold as think about how cold it was last night. What was it like? Uh, I think it was like 30 degrees or something last night over here. It got here, down right? to something like that here, yeah. Yeah. Rocking the shorts. What is know. that about? That's insane is what that is. Yeah. Who rocks shorts in this kind of weather? Just, oh, okay. I guess Mike does that. <laughs> yeah. He's from Wisconsin. I'm bundled right now. Yeah. So. And I have a little space heater going on yeah. on the uh, important oh, parts of the wall. Come on, the family. <laughs> look, look, baby face. Look, he's wearing a sweater. Yeah, <laughs> literally a sweater. <laughs> and you're saying you have a space heater under your desk? Oh, totally. It feels amazing. It feels oh, right oh, where geez. it's important. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, man, you seriously cannot handle any kind of. Uh... <laughs> you know what's funny is I like the cold, but I like the dry cold, the wet cold that we got going on right now. Ugh. Yeah. Bone numbing cold. Yeah. So my my friend Mark was saying he doesn't own pants. 
he only has shorts. <laughs> Did you tell him you could clearly see he's nuts? <laughs> uh, good one. I didn't know that at the time. Uh, I'm going to use that next time around. Okay. So, you know, we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the mini here and some other things. Um, is there any like new shot show stuff going on out there you guys want to talk about? Mm. Anything exciting? What about you, Mike? You must have seen something other than obviously your own stuff. The ATI is doing. I know you've seen something exciting out there. Um, I know you guys talked about the Mossberg handgun. Um, yeah, I I'm in love with cheap handguns. Uh, <laughs> oh, I, we so, got to talk. Sorry, I, Mike. So I've already I've already asked Mossberg for mine, and then, okay. um, <laughs> the the cheap handgun comment got me. We got to talk about the announcement from. Uh well, God, what's the name of the cheapest handgun ever? High Point. High Point today. Did you see their announcement? Oh, they had a fire. Well, no, not that. Uh, High Point is bringing out a more standard handgun of some kind. Oh, I didn't, wow. I didn't see that, but um, Diamondback also is coming out with another new nine. They did last year, and now they're more uh, they're compact, like DB nine. They re they've redone that gun. I think it's got MSRP under three hundred dollars. Wow. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So I'll have to get that one too. Um, okay. I've, I've got their last release behind me. Yeah, their uh, their AM2. It's actually really nice. Oh, let's see it. The AM2. Uh, <clears throat> so let's take real... a look at this here. Okay. Oh, there you go. So, did you put um? Did you put the uh, stippling tape on there? No, this is how the get gun came. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, but uh, hmm. I probably got I don't know two hundred rounds or something through it. Um, sure. which, which for me is a lot because I don't get to shoot that much. But um, it's uh it's really nice. Uh, so I'm kind of excited about their their other new one they got coming out. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Very cool. I call dibs on any guns that you get in. <laughs> <laughs> I call dibs. <laughs> so I just reach you. out to my friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Sticking this in chat, and this comes. Okay. What's who up? can I give credit? Oh, to? so you're talking about the high point? It's the high point here. Lawrence Lurick. Okay. He was the one to tag us in this. Uh, Ohio-based anchor of the affordable pistol market is promising to break from the traditional mold, move into a more modern handgun offering. They haven't so, said what yet, but they are supposedly going to have something new. At so Chuck this Chuck. is going to be a high point that does not look like a blow dryer. Yeah, uh, I, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm, it's, I'm reading off this other thing. They'll have 3D printed models that show it. Ah, uh, cool. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you, listen. Hey, you need to go see what it looks like. Hey, yeah. let me let me tell you something. There is absolutely no reason why they can't make it because it's not like they don't make any money. Yeah. Okay. No, they and, and they I guarantee they have the tooling to do it. Or they can yeah. have it done. Yeah. Um I think that I think we already so that video that we did, Patrick, um, where we were asking people what they want to see at Shot Show, I saw a lot. This was before this came out. I saw a lot of people asking us to go to high point. <laughs> so, I I want to see. Uh, like I'm curious to yeah. see what they can bring to the yeah. market on a full Price. Hopefully they do like a full price one. Like you a don't have you don't have to reinvent the wheel. No, there's plenty no. of good wheels out there to knock off. I'm gonna. Uh, I would own it just to be like, yeah, I have the first high point that isn't a pile of crap. <laughs> Hopefully you make, you make a decent, reliable gun that's inexpensive. You don't sell a shitload of them. Sorry. I, well, last year they, they used the common the magazine. Use the yes. common magazine. They did well, say it's gonna be a double stack. It will not be a single stack on ten mil. Yeah. Now, in High Point's defense, um, last year they came out with the um, with the ten millimeter carbine that, and I actually went over to their booth. Mm -hmm. That that's cool. I mean, we sh we've shot it. I think uh, Richard has one, right? Richard yeah. Hughes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a neat little thing. Bad. Yeah. Um, when are you guys making a kit for that, Mike? <laughs> Let's put it on the Bullpup. spot. Bullpup kit, Mike. I think that's, I a, no. <laughs> that's a no. Cold. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. No, no monkey business. That's a no. Mike is just cold hearted, man. He's just cold hearted. <laughs> I thought you guys you, you do have a you do have a carbine um high point carbine kit, right? Yeah, for the nine mil one. Um I I don't I forgot what year it cuts off. 
uh, I can't even remember. But I know the newer ones, you have to do some modifications to it. Uh, people still buy them and modify them. I think there's videos on YouTube on how to alter our kit. Um, okay. Pe people like it, though. Okay, very cool. All right, so anything else that you guys are seeing at SHOT Show that's getting you all uh, fizzy? I know Truth About Guns has some reviews um, on the Keltec CP333, and I think the Firearm blog as well, right, Walter? PS, the KS7, too. Yeah, the Firearm blog, I saw the one on the KS, KS7. Yeah, yeah. yeah my, 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 uh, my sincere friends over at Magpul are actually doing some cool stuff. Yeah, I think you. I think you guys talked about the drum that they're coming yep, out with. Yep. Yeah, it's really then, cool. um, I, you know, I, I like their magazines. I wish they would stay on on task, but because I just saw a thing about their new plastic bags, like their what trans, plastic trans, bags? Trans, translucent plastic bags, look like they come out of your school book. You said, yeah, school, you know, and I'm like. <laughs> I'm like, guys, come on. Just I know you oh, like wait, is that but isn't that didn't they make some kind of pocket thing? Yeah, already? carry bag thing. And so so yeah. now they're making uh um see through ones. Yeah, yeah it's translucent. Yeah. They got knives. They got knives yeah. though. That's kind of cool. They'll sell a lot of they, those. Yeah, they announced that. I think I posted something about the knife today, but it's limited, very limited quantities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Limited like probably like twenty thousand, and they'll sell all of them. No, no, I think it was way less oh, yeah. than that. I think it was less than a hundred that they were gonna make. And they're like five hundred bucks. Holy moly for a and that, liner. And that's, and, and that's what? What are they making for? A magpole. Um someone get the link for the magpole. Mag knife. knife? Yeah. yeah. You know you're gonna you know you get it. Huh? For five hundred dollars, an S thirty five VN liner lock? No, I can buy two microtex for that. That's crazy. Yeah, but, yeah, but the fanboys will get it. The fanboys yeah, will get it. Yeah, I guarantee they will. If they're only if they're gonna make less than a hundred of those, then um, it, I can tell maybe, you. Maybe what they should do is come out with a freaking uh, folding Glock thing. What's it called? The FP <laughs> FG9, <laughs> FMG9. That's what it. FMG9. Come out with a civilian FMG9, guys. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Glock uh, Glock be tough to do with NFA stuff. Ah, just Glock do it as an SBR or do I, it as a. I, I, I predict they will have a Glock carbine at Shot Show. In Magpul. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I was gonna say they should, but it should be yeah. an FMG9. The uh, the the knives, I can tell you, the knives. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. Look at that article and see what the quantity is of how many they're gonna make. But I think. Their... Did Go you ahead, find? Did someone find that article? What are you gonna I ask? See the one from there. You see what? their skull logo? They changed their logo. On I saw the, that on the Magpul 20 years thing. It's got a skull logo. I think you'll like yeah. it. Oh, oh, I bet that's, no, I I bet that's that. going to be a patch or a sticker shot. Hank, take them, take them. It's your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it is kind of cool. This skull yeah. with the two X's. That's kind of neat. Uh, it's cool. Cool. I hate it. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I could tell you, um, where's the, where did you see the skull logo? Someone okay, me I'm on there. I'm on their front page of yeah, their website. Okay. It'll mm -hmm. roll. Through. And you scroll down a little bit, and then they've got a video. It says Magpul, 20 years. Uh, quickly oh. though, SoCal Gunner gave us five dollars. Oh, awesome! Oh. Awesome. Oh. He's saying check to see if Lago, I think is how you pronounce it, Lugo, Logo, uh, Arms has a booth. So he wants to see the Alien pistol. The Alien, okay. Yeah. And he says go fondle it, Hank. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, baby, baby, oh, fondling. Yeah. Oh, also fondling. another one for me. You got to go by the Lyman booth. It says they're releasing forty new products. Forty new products. Yeah, now, and that's all reloading stuff. And, but that can be a little dinky this and a little dinky that and a little yeah. That. But check the reloading supplies because I okay. like the reloading stuff. Have you guys seen the the what Lyman they sell a um, a target system where it's on a it's on a roll and as you shoot your target you can with a remote like lower it down and oh that's cool <laughs> like fresh paper oh I love what? that yeah oh <laughs> that is cool <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah I I was checking that out at one of the shows I was just at. But I think they said you can um, use the remote from almost 200 yards away or something like Holy that. Holy Lyman Auto Advanced Target System. Hmm, that sounds really cool. Yes, and thanks. It, it's, and it's not that expensive. Oh, yeah. that is really neat. Yeah, it just like rolls on through. <laughs> yeah. Until you, until you shoot the roll mechanism. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it looks like it's behind some pretty heavy oh, okay. plate steel. Okay. But, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's, there's some heavy steel behind it. All right, in front of it rather, um, 
I mean, I think if you shoot like a, you know, a 308 at it or something, you're going to have problems, but this is totally affordable. $108 for it. Oh, yeah. that's cheap. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty good. This is, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got <laughs> AR 400 steel. So it's, yeah, as long as you don't hit it with a 50 or a 308, you should be all yeah. right. Yeah. So here, uh, thanks to SoCal Gunner, by the way. Uh, let me just, let me try to get through this here really quick. Okay. So did you guys find the uh, recoil article about the, here, I'll throw it up. This is about the Magpul knife. I'll throw that up for you. Oh, yeah. I know, you know, just so people can complain. Did they say um, how many? 200. Yeah, 200, 200. 200. The price tag north of $500? Yeah. Wow. You're crazy. So, <laughs> it's a liner yeah. lock knife. I guarantee you they're going to sell those out. Oh, they're yeah. going to they sell will. those out. Ba Babyface, they, they have a Remington 700 stock for, what, $1,000 and they sell yeah. them? Yeah. Do you think they're not going to sell all those Jeez. knives? Yeah, yeah, no, that's true because those, I mean, yeah, that's expensive. Here's the coolest thing from Magpul I've ever seen, an uh, actual Magpul AR with Magpul stamped on the lower and all that. Did you, um, I thought somebody we know has one of those. Yeah, Jesse, Jesse James has one. Um, yeah. Our friend Jesse, not the motorcycle obnoxious dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so yeah, Jesse has one that apparently like Magpul dabbled into going into to, well, uh, putting out rifles and stuff like that. It's probably pretty yeah, weird. They, they came to the realization that dealing manufacturing guns is a pain in the ass. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. And um, speaking speaking of which, which I didn't realize this happened, but they were saying that uh, Geisley's been doing this for a while. Geisley is going to be making ARs. They can't resist, can they? So uh, apparently Geisley's been making them and giving them away, doing oh, giveaways okay. of the ARs. Did but I, now they're going to make them specifically for law enforcement. Uh, I think I saw something today that a uh, U.S. Army unit was going to be using Geisley, like full Geisley rifles. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no, I think it was. It could have been it was law like enforcement, a, maybe. No, it was a. It was, definitely said army. Okay. Let's see if yeah. I can find it. Yeah, um, and I think maybe in a year up. or so we'll we'll actually be able to get uh, AR with the guys Lee on it. <laughs> who is going to be? You guys it's gonna be way too expensive. Yeah, and who, it's going to work just like your uh, Palmetto like State Armory. Palmetto State Armory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I don't mean to be negative, but. Yeah, seriously. Um, yeah. Just drop the Geisley trigger in it, and you're rocking and rolling, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I if I, I I would like it if they would just make lowers, just make lowers. Yeah, seriously. Um, oh. Because here's the thing about Jesse, which really makes me want to strangle him. Well, Not only does he have the complete AR, he also has a Magpul lower. <laughs> he also hey, he won't give it up. I guarantee it. No, he won't. No. <laughs> He well, just so, like he just likes to tease you with it and go, yeah. I also well, have this, he, he knows that you're the type of guy that <laughs> has to have it. <laughs> yeah, he's really. If it's out there and it's rare, you have to have one. Yeah, he's my friend, but he's really annoying. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can get so, a sharpie out and you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Hank, listen, I'll I'll mill one. We'll mill one from the machine downstairs, and then we'll just sharpie in the the Magpul logo on the side. Oh, wait, even better yet, when I get my laser, once I once I oh, we get laser once break. ATF gets off my back, um, yeah, we'll just yeah. burn you it. We'll right get a letter. You will get a letter from Magpul. Cease and desist. Ah, it's not. We're not how about it. how about parody ones? You can do parody ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. free use, right? If it's a parody of something. Yeah. yeah, you can call it my pull. My pull. <laughs> I'll make you a J O lower. You jag off. Yeah. You jag off. Lower. Jag, jag pull. Jag, jag pull. pull. Yeah. All right. Cool. Okay. I don't. Right. This was there anything else? I'm trying to see if there was anything um, else coming out. For I'm looking at Lyman right that, now. Let's see here. Lyman. That, um, Lyman. They got a big spread. Lyman does at the show. So. Oh, okay. I think there's. Five brands under the Lyman. Yeah, company. they mm -hmm. own a bunch of different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I think they they own um, Taxstar, oh, uh, Packmeyer, Taxstar, Azum, yeah. Terrace, oh, wow. Butches, and Targ Dots. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, we get, we use Packmeyer recoil pads on on the fifty cals when 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 we can make them, and um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Government shutdown. I'm all for it. And then God is keeping me down. So yeah. Yeah. Keep me down. Um you know, there's special programs for everyone out there affected by the shutdown. Just wanna let everyone know. 
Will, will it be like a yeah. class action lawsuit from some blood sucking uh, attorney? No, no, no. I'm saying this programs <laughs> and stuff like that out there. Oh, like uh, like the contributors. Um, yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I know there's definitely soup kitchens and things like that going to help people out there. You know, if you need Pampers and stuff like this, yeah. this things to help I need the folks out. Extra, right? Yeah, it's a long air flight out to Vegas. I need some Pampers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. All right, so okay, Lola wanted to know okay. why does Mike like the Mossberg so much? Yeah, why do you? If you like the Mossberg so much, why don't you marry it? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Okay, you sound Why? like a six-year-old. If you like yeah. the method, I'd like to marry it. Uh, it's really simple. It's a new handgun, and it's cheap. What is that's, it? I know I've heard yeah, suggestions. That's, I've heard that's it, right? That, that's it. I, I saw. I saw. It's a new handgun, and it's cheap. I want one. That I want. I want to. I want to go see it at shot. I want to touch it at shot. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see I, it too. I, I already have picked one up uh, and and tried it, racked it, stuff like that. At one of the one of the shows I was just at, um, I I like it, but I but again I like inexpensive handguns that run and work. I mean exactly. I don't I don't like you know inexpensive handguns that are crap. Um, I mean you, how does you, it how does it compare to a high point? <laughs> how many high points can you get for it? Two and a half or three? <laughs> Look, we gotta lock the camera on Mike, right? <laughs> <laughs> you it's, just said you just said, Mike, that you like inexpensive handguns. Okay, at that, work, I think <laughs> that have that have some sexiness to them. Yeah, <laughs> that, oh, that have a personality. That, have a personality. That throws them out right there. You know, I, I talk to the guys at High Point and gals. There's a lady that works their booth all the time too. Um, good people over there. So nothing that way with them as far as the people there, but. They have an ugly handgun. I don't. I don't care. That's that, yeah, that's all sure. there is to it. For sure. So, Hopefully, they've after all these years, like Walter's saying, they've had the money and stuff like that to buy. You know, well, to buy have, another mold. MKS Supply so. is also, I think, inland. They're making M1 carbines and stuff. Yes, those um, are awesome. And they have other brands too. They're not just High Point. So, I, I don't know if you've ever handled any of those guns. Those are awesome. Those are absolutely awesome. What's this, Walter? You, is this your high point? Yeah. Boom. Look at that. This thing is like boat, anchor, boat anchorish. But yeah. you know what? Once again, it's I true. don't have a problem it with works. it. I mean, it, it, works. Goes, it goes bang. Yeah. Hey, I'm yeah. good. I've yeah. shot high points many times. They run I've, great. Until, no until it, well, the late year ago when I got this or so, I'd never had one. And I'd always like, oh, yeah, high point. You know, it's made out of die cast. Yeah, um, yeah. Or it's made out of zinc. But hey, what the hell? You know, you yeah, I think it. every every gun guy should have a high point, <laughs> if for nothing else, so that you have some kind of scale. a reference point. Yeah, yeah, yeah a reference, reference point. point. Yeah. <laughs> All In right, hey. Mind. For you guys that like knives, you know, let's 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 go down to the affordable side of things here. I'm on the Lyman thing. website. And if you buy one of their G10 tactical, uh, you buy one of their uh, G10 grips, you get a free G10 tactical knife. Oh, that's oh. cool. Okay, yeah. how much does the G10 tactical grip cost? I have no idea, but it's probably affordably priced if it's not. And, and what is a G10 tactical grip? It's just a folding knife. Oh, with so the, you buy the, a knife, you get a knife. No, you buy a, you buy a pair of grips. Oh, grips. you get a knife. Okay. No, no, no financial uh, uh, involvement with those guys, but I just saw it when I went to their website. Mm -hmm. it's like, is a, what is the grip? The grip is a tool? No, oh, like the, the pistol grip, right? Pistol grips. Pistol grip. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know they I didn't know they sold all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. Oh. There you yeah. go. So, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lyman, Lyman plays in the same market as, you know, ATI on some of their stuff. I mean, they don't do just do reloading. Right. Um, again, they own tax star, so they got little, you know, shell holder stuff and things yeah. like that. Little, uh, more price point stuff than, than even us. So. Yeah. They used to, all of, when I used to get the Remington shotguns, they used to, for the longest time, all had tax star pistol grips on them. Yeah. And, um, they're not on the, uh, on the high end of, uh, of the grip spectrum. Um, but. You know, they were. Well, Hank, it doesn't look like this one. You know, uh -oh. I know you like this one. <laughs> yes, yes. No. <clears throat> and speaking of that, like, I'm going to put a bunch of those. See, this thing? We were talking about this yesterday, the SKO. 
Yeah, you better put the most the most uh, finger grin friendly a grip you can on that sucker. Yeah, yeah, right there. We're gonna need to change this out with a with a because that with that long barrel on. you got on there, that's gonna yeah. beat you up. Yeah, you're gonna need something comfortable like some <laughs> extra rubber. <laughs> <laughs> you can put some rubber on that thing, Hulk. Yeah. A long barrel like this one. Yeah, <laughs> long barrel. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, let me see. There was something here. Oh, okay. So someone asked us this question, and we're gonna go to the we're gonna go to the new ATI Mini 1911. If if you're just joining us now, please one smash the thumbs ups. Okay, we appreciate that. Share this video. You're getting like an exclusive right now. Exclusive ATI has come out with a new mini. It's a 1911, and we're going to talk about it. And if you'd like to win some stuff from ATI, not the mini. Not the new mini, but if but Mike does Mike does have some swag. So if you're looking to win some stuff, go to um, go to Facebook, go to Instagram. There's a post there with Mike and the new mini. Make a comment, share it, all all that. We're gonna go and we're gonna take a look at those uh, coming up here. So I got a question for uh, Mike. What's up? Um, ETA on the forty five. Any idea? That is a good one. Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be. NRA ish so May or maybe uh, June. Okay, okay. So yeah. uh, let me say this: all you guys out there, patience, grasshopper, patience. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Lots of patience going to be necessary. So before we get Mike to show us, like, get real in depth with this, um, someone asked about the GOA um, GOA oh. filing, which I put a link up there. Yeah. GOA files for Supreme Court certification in case challenging the National Firearms Act. Yes. Yeah, so basically the gist of this, you guys can uh, correct me here if I'm wrong. Um, in Kansas, they came up with something called the Kansas Second Amendment Protection Act. You know, and so it says, uh, what is this? Uh, became law, the law states that any firearm related item that is made, sold, and used within the state of Kansas is not is not subject to National Firearms Act regulation. Well, the ATF didn't like that, and then they went and arrested some people in Kansas. <laughs> yes, it well, isn't that a, a Tenth Amendment thing, part of a Tenth Amendment? Is it? Um, there's something constitutional about that because they got that farmers the on that. I guess farmers that grow um, food and it stays with inter interstate, it doesn't go intrastate where it goes out of state or whatever that is. I guess the, they're not they're not under federal stuff. Tenth Amendment, the power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. So that sort of makes sense that if, if they don't outright prohibit it, but federally they're prohibiting it. But it's not in the Constitution, so I don't know. Yeah. So basically the ATF went after a couple of guys, arrested them. And I think those guys got like some kind of probation type of thing. The GOA is out there fighting all of that trying to take that up to the Supreme Court. And if that is the case, then basically states, you know, specifically here, Kansas, will be able to make their own rules of what you make and manufacture within Kansas. Well, technically, if you say I made AOW type shotguns and they didn't leave the state of Florida, I could make and sell it to, it would be no NFA on them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they stayed in the state. Yeah, the, sounds good to me. Well, yeah, but yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah. So GOA is fighting that. I think uh, so. I forgot who was asking this question, but someone wanted to know what we think about it. What do we think about it? I think it's cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because the uh, yeah. Supreme Court has been scared to touch the Second Amendment. Which is um, ridiculous. And mm -hmm. now that they have two more conservatives on the thing, supposedly, supposedly, maybe they'll look at things. So, yeah. Um, now, not that that means anything to these leftists. Uh, I don't believe in the constitutional beta, or whatever the hell his name yeah. is. Yeah, uh, Gillette Shaven. The mofo. Irish, the Irish Mexican, um, um, uh, Beto or Beto or whatever his name is. Um, He'd say something about the Constitution. He thinks he's making statements like it's is it really still applicable or is it outdated or you know things like that. So, okay, on that order. So, yeah, uh, yeah he's another typical uh, socialist leftist kind of. Yeah. Uh, Beta Aurora, do, quote, does this still work in an empire like ours with military presence in over 140 yeah. countries, 170 countries around the globe with 
trading relations, and security agreements in every continent, can it still be managed by the same principles that were set down 230 plus years ago? I yes. have an answer to that. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. No Fuck questions yeah. asked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. the the even that's what made our country great. We still have the exact same problems that those people had mm -hmm. two hundred and something years ago. It's just the you know we don't ride horses anymore. We drive cars and there's airplanes and stuff yeah. like that. But the same kind of tyranny and the same kind of oppression and everything. Yeah, and the world the world has those problems for that. Well, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Uh, so and and, um, and they had it back then too. Yeah, so. and I think the principles of the Constitution of the United States of America might help the rest of the world. If it's, you if you get something like this and then you're willing to fight for it and and die for it, you might make your country better. And then you won't have to great. even, you know, we might be trying to come to to your country. Uh, I don't think so. And live over there. <laughs> no, yet <laughs> it's possible. Yet. I'm saying it's possible, Walter. I'm saying uh, it's possible. That, that, Listen, that, you are going to France in a couple of months. So yes, sir. I, I know. I think about yeah. it every freaking day. Actually, yeah. Don't try to blame me. <laughs> and uh -huh. England, by the way. So yeah, yeah, exactly. So England's I love the English, though. and I'm not saying yeah. anything bad about the English. So going to England's not bad. Going to France. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, I went to France in '14 for the 70th anniversary of D-Day, and it was we had a great time. Um, Normandy yeah. is very uh, American friendly because they realize what it's all about. Um, yeah. It's about money too, because terrorists. But yeah. But, so when you go there, do you remember? Does that bring you back to when you were like a teenager during World War II? When we or? fought the Normans. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, that would be yeah. Why well, go stand on the beach in Normandy and think about it, and then you'll. Oh man, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. An amazing. Like, look up the look uh, at like at Utah. Look up the. Look up the or Omaha. Look up the up the hill. Those guys had to go up yeah. to get to the top. Yeah. Yeah. Think about the opening scene of Saving Private Ryan, right? I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Think about that that kind of craziness. Uh, uh, Richard Hughes gave us five bucks. He says, "If the government already has its boot on our throat, and we have two A rights, imagine what it would be like when they take the guns." Well, England. It would be um, like England. Would be my guess. Um, it would be a uh, people don't realize when people say, "Oh, take the guns." Do you realize how many guns there are? It's impossible. That's never there. Happen. There, there's estimates, but there's there's no exact number, and there's hundreds of millions of guns, all shapes and sizes, and trillions of rounds of ammunition. <laughs> so uh, yeah. they can take all the rounds of ammunition one at a time. <laughs> one at a time. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't. I don't. I, I don't think there's enough. Um, people to administer that um because i think a lot of the people would realize what would happen to them and i think they would um fail to do their duty so to speak um, <laughs> mm -hmm. military included there'd be a coup d'etat just put it that way military would rise up mm -hmm. i don't see the military doing it so um yeah not anybody with any brains because we have more weapons than military does too yeah scamp 900 said it would be like venezuela or... with guns yeah <laughs> Or what people are trying to make Florida into, which, by the way, reminds me, I got to show this off here. Oh, you got yours on. You, you finally came in the mail, eh? Right there. Look, make Florida the gunshot. Look how round that again. thing is. What's up with that? It's like round that t shirt. What? Oh, it's not, you got jokes, Walter. You got jokes. You got jokes. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm up for the kill tonight. So. Oh, okay. All right. Revenge. Best served cold. <laughs> Just remember that. All right, so check it out. That's the Make Florida the, the Gunshine State again. Perfect color. Which, Perfect which you, color. Can get, you can get right there from Fortune yep. Freedom. Yep. Yep. Boom, right there. It's available right now. Uh, this is like a little private campaign that we all have going here, trying to state save the beautiful Gunshine State of Florida. From these for, um, um, infected politicians. Yes, absolutely. Okay. All right, let's see what. Okay, so come on, Mike. Let's get into this now. This is the part to get into it, and I'm just gonna go back over it again for uh, folks who who um, are just joining us. Welcome to the show. Where have you been? Smash the thumbs up. Uh, Mike from ATI Outdoors is here. Of course, ATI Outdoors has the um, what we're calling the ATI Mini. So they've got an AR, 
that's out. There's an AK, which I don't have one on my desk right now. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I just happen to have them all stacked up. Yeah, Walter right has it. Well, there we go. There we go. There's the AK. Pretty as a moment. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there you go. Also, the, the uh, 50, the 50 BMG. There we go. I actually have a 50 BMG from ATI Outdoors, not one from Safety Harbor Firearms. I don't know. Oh, that was a good poke. Oh. That was a good poke. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. So coming soon, coming soon <laughs> is is um, the ATI Mini 1911. Right, Mike? I'm going to lock it on you. Show us this awesomeness. Let's see. All its features. Oh, in look on at it. that. Boom. Look at that. Oh, look. Very nice. Okay, get it close to the camera here so we can see some I details. Boom. Trigger, you can pull the trigger. Can you cock back the hammer? Cock back the hammer. Back. Oh, it's back, man. Oh, look at that. Look at oh. that. That is so cool. <laughs> I think we lost. Did we lose the audio, Mike? I still no, I'm here. Oh, okay. I was quiet. Yeah. Look at that. Ah. Those rounds look like 25 auto. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so cool. yeah. That is that's an idea though for anybody that's listening. Twenty five auto forty five. You'd probably sell this shit on, on there. Um that looks really good, man. Oh yeah, God. that's cool, man. That's cool. <laughs> All it's missing is a threaded burl. <laughs> yeah. Burl. Burl. So uh, now no. you can Yeah. Uh Mike, whatever you just said, we didn't hear it. Oh, it's uh I was just saying barrel, just like Walter was. Barrel. Oh, barrel. Okay. barrel. All right, yeah. So um, you're going to be able to assemble this? Yes. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Let's see what other little details we can get here. You can change. Can you change the grips? Yes. Uh, I intend on having uh, different uh, oh, different man. colors and stuff like that. Oh, awesome. So much awesome. So much awesome yes. involved in that. So do you guys know pricing or anything like that at this point? Yes. Um, we're going to MSRP at $39.99. $39.99. Uh -huh. Very that nice. Way yeah. Everybody should have. Yes. Uh, Hot summer, Christmas 2019. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Wait yeah, till it shows was... up on Nancy's list, though. Yeah. Oh. Now, now, um, <laughs> can you just like, because just for people out there who don't know, you you guys have completely developed this from the ground up, right? Yes. This one is because you know, as Walter I think talked about on maybe two shows ago, uh, you know, Goat Guns has a few of their own models, things like that. Yeah, that one there. Um, this one is completely developed by ATI. Um, yeah. And we're working on a few other ones. There will be a um, another one that I don't have with me here because it's at my it's in my shot show booth that's sitting in Las Vegas right now. But we'll have a, uh, a AR fifteen one that we'll also have at the at the show. Oh, Richard cool. Hughes says the same price as a high point. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, it's probably more reliable than high point. Though. Oh God! Here street goes. street price street price. All right, babe face, take it easy. Take it oh, easy. Yeah. Take it easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Marshall says Hank see you at Shot Show. I see Marshall already. Does Marshall have a Shot Show icon on his thing? Yes, he does. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, is Marshall? Are you part of NSSF or what's going on there? Yes. Look forward to seeing you at Shot Show. Yep. Whoever that is, that's someone who's really ready for Shot Show. Okay, so Mike, give us some details on this thing. Like, walk <laughs> us through it. <laughs> Okay, wait, hang no. on a second. Chaos Harris said, I'll trade you 30 Gillette razors for it. <laughs> no, Gillette razors are not worth a damn thing. I'm going to find out who makes Costco's razors because I just bought a whole bag full of them. Yeah. I might have, a, might have a sacrificial burning. Yeah, yeah. Gillette yeah. razors, no good, no good. Who's They're talking? not for men. They're not for men. Um, okay, so yeah, Mike, walk us through some details of this. Like, what are, you know, what are the details, materials, grip materials? How many rounds do you get with this? Uh, when can we expect to see it out? Uh, uh, when well, am I when am I getting mine? Um, well, you're not you're not getting one. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> That's fired. Yeah, uh, you know, now it, I am very sad. <laughs> it, it's so early, and it's. Uh, you know, and the development of it. I mean, literally, I have two samples of it. I have one in my hands here. I have the other one at the shop yet. I got to get them both to shot yet. Um, but again, uh, MSRP forty bucks. 
Um, it's going to be, there's going to be some assembly to it. We haven't decided how much, um, you know, assembly will be just like, you know, the, the AR, the AK, the 50 cal, you know, you have to put it together yourself. You know, it's a couple minute model. Um, there is so many parts, this 1911, it's so many small parts. Uh, we haven't decided how much we're going to have, um, uh, you know, our end consumer assemble, um, because they are just so small there's a lot of detail in this and there's a lot of little springs and uh a lot that has gone into this design okay uh, so yeah. we, we're not completely you know have determined everything we're doing with this yet okay um but everything is metal there isn't any plastic on this at all um even the not even the grips hold on let, me lock, it. Grip. let me lock it on you here yeah try to hold it up to the camera so we can get some wow yeah so okay. all the detail you see here, this is all metal. Okay. The camera's not focusing too well, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, move it over to your left, I guess. Whoa. Okay, Whoa. right to your right, to your right, to your right. Back, back it off a little bit. bit, back it off a schmidge. Okay, go to your right a little bit more. Yes. Right oh. To your right a little bit more. Okay, it's right trying. there, right it's there. Hold it. There trying. you go. There you That's go. Cool. Wow, that looks really good. Oh, oh yeah, there, there, we go. Go. there we go. Oh, there we my go. goodness gracious. That looks <laughs> awesome, man. Oh, you yeah. need some pearl handle grips for that thing there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, who was it that asked this? Let me see. Um, someone, uh, Brian Wyatt says, will it be available in stainless? Stainless. Uh, we're talking about doing uh, stainless mags, but mm. I don't know about doing the whole, the whole thing. I'm not sure yet. Okay. Have to customize okay. it. Yeah. Yeah. HDI yeah. custom shop 1911. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Not a bad well, idea. Have you seen we have done accessories for the AR? You can get different, uh, you can get an ACOG uh, scope, you can get a four grip, you can get a different stock for it. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that on the site. No. Yeah, I, I have seen that. Yes, and it is on the site. Uh, right now, how, what's, um, and you guys, what do you guys have off on the site? Got to put uh, aside. I think we're doing 20 or 25 percent off right now i think 25 percent off right now yeah so oh. if you're looking to get an ati mini you can go, go check out one. the site they're really cool go buy one they're like they're yeah super neat. yeah you can uh you can get the 50s like babyface has the 50 right there walter yeah. has the ak up there um up in you know, there's, there's ars let's see or as uh my friends from west virginia say ars AR's. AR's. ARs, yeah. <laughs> so there you go, yeah. And of course the uh, the mini 1911 coming soon, coming soon to a place near you. Uh, to a range near you. John Dieter says four out of five bronies like them Gillette. So laugh out loud. <laughs> bronies can't even grow facial hair. We all know that. Yeah. Yeah. And More shots fired. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know this will never end. Uh, Psycho 316 says, is anyone having issues going to Spike's tactical site? So I don't know. You guys check uh -huh. it out and see if you can go into uh, Spike's tactical site without any issues. Issues. Yeah. So the gun's looking good. Gun's looking good. You're saying you should get it somewhere around May-ish? Like when is, shot, when is NRA show this year? It's. I think it's sometime in May, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Or with end in Indy. Yeah, in Indiana. Yeah, you know, with everything going on with the NRA, I don't really want to go. I know you guys are going to be there, of course. So, yeah, yeah you know, that might be the only reason that I go just to hang out with yeah. you, Mike. Um, NRA has got a huge fan base. I mean, a as a business, I think you have to be there, and you know, no matter what your opinion is on it and the politics of it. So, yeah, we'll be there. We'll have our booth. Mm -hmm. Spikes ain't working. No, it's down. Oh, spikes down. Spikes down. Okay. Yep. So maybe Spike's tactical site is down right now. Hopefully, it'll get back up, and we don't have any major issues going on there. Uh, Spike with Spike's tactical, which I think you know, if you that's another thing. It's a, a kind of like an opposite thing from uh, High Point, but that's some something else every gun guy <laughs> should have. You should have something from Spike's tactical. Look, I just happened. This is this is what I mean by that. I just happened to have. Boom, right there. Let's Spikes see. Tactical, not just the oh, stickers. Yeah. These are in the box. See, I got some Spike Tactical. My unicorn tacticals. mower is downstairs yeah. right now. Yeah, I got some Spike Tactical. What is it? Oh, I didn't even realize there was a challenge coin in this thing. Oh, wow. Huh. 
Oh, wait a second. I didn't realize there was a challenge point up in here. You Look at that. You Spikes got tactical. Pack? Yes, uh, it says uh, Pipe Hitters Union. Oh, that's cool. Spikes Tactical on it. And that is all because of this is like a, a special edition Pipe Hitters Union. Oh, okay. Spikes Tactical lower right there. The Joker lower. Boom. What? Yeah. What? So you guys know I, co I, I collect lowers. So if you want to get me anything for Christmas, you can get it early. I mean, <laughs> Christmas. Yeah, it's Holy early. shit, we just got over that mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My I'm birthday glad it's over. Yeah, my birthday's coming up in March. You know, I'm a Pisces. For anyone who wants to know, I guess. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So Spike's tactical. You know, everyone should get something from Spike's tactical. I think that's fine. All right. So um, here's a good question for you, Mike, in regards to the minis. Will there be a bundle pack? Like, uh, you know, you like, like maybe all the minis in one? Yeah, I don't or, know. Yeah, or like know. the AR and the 1911. You know, Man. anytime that we've done that in the past with even, you know, just doing like a parts package and stuff like that, I don't know. It just seems like separate's kind of the way to go. Maybe. I'm not optioning it out. I'm just. A la carte, we, baby. A la carte. Yeah, I just, we've tried it in the past with parts and. Not the best. <laughs> and uh, someone out there, actually, I, I see probably about 20 of these uh, requests for this, like the Hank Strange edition. Bowl oh, bowl. where do you see in that? Oh, 20. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the chat. It's in the chat, Walter. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah. Well, where, where is that? Oh. Yeah, look at this. Mike has Mike also has an ATI <laughs> phone case. <laughs> Check that out. Did you guys notice that? <laughs> they, don't, they don't own me. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, he's got that ATI tattoo. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> yeah, uh, that, look, that's cool. If you look really closely at my tattoo here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's who really owns you. Yeah. Right. True. Right there on that one. <laughs> yeah, Brian Wyatt says he saw it too. There were lots of requests there in the chat. Someone deleted them. I think Babyface or somebody went in there. But they were there. out. Anybody yeah. saw it. Yeah, yeah. It was in there. The Hank Strange Edition minis. Bullpup. Yeah. Brian Bullpup. Wyatt says Strange yeah. Edition no. Bullpup. Yeah, you can get, you know, you can get like a, you can get a multi pack in there. Comes with a little mohawk. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. How about this? I'll make you a deal, Mike. If you if you make a bullpup, I will actually put the ATI logo in my head for a week. I'll make you a deal. <laughs> if you buy fifteen hundred of them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make you whatever you want. Okay. See, there you go. There you go. The and That's Simpson, all. We need to get pre-orders, right, Walter? <laughs> and Simpson Bro Larry says you would think that that Hank was a real celebrity. Uh, 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 so much, <laughs> bye Simpson Road, Larry. You're gone. <laughs> that's so cold hearted, right there. Wow. Well, you guys. Okay, that really hurt my feelings. I'm really sad about it. <laughs> All right. Cool. Um, did Mike show? Okay, Kiaski says, did Mike show the new mini? Okay, you want to show that one more time Sweet. for the folks who are just joining us right now? Sure. That want to see it. See, what are you up to over there? I'm, what are you assembling? I'm, I'm, I'm fussing with it too much. <laughs> I oh, broke okay. it already. <laughs> See, this is why this is such a good thing to have in your desk at work, man. You just can you imagine messing it's around like, with this? You know, it's like a fidget spinner, except it's actually cool. Yeah, seriously. Oh, but you're gonna scare someone to that, Mike. You're gonna make them nervous. <laughs> That's how I make friends. <laughs> yeah. Hey, bitch, get out of my desk. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, desk popping. Okay, Mike, your your microphone is going in and out. We lost you there. Whatever you just said, is it? Uh, okay, we heard you just now. Oh, the Norse Horseman. <laughs> Matt Walters maybe gave I'm ATI a, into your hair. I'm a mumbler. Yeah, uh, Norse. Yeah, let Walter shave the ATI. Oh into no, I'm no. no hairstylist. Trust me. No, no. I am not that. I am not that brave. They don't have enough hair to do all that. <laughs> no, Walter would go commando. There would not be. There would not be. A, well, we don't want him to go commando. But oh no, no, I mean, no, he no. might. He might just wind up shaving the whole. Whoopsie. Off. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> split that. Split that. Yeah. Split that. Uh. Split the uh the hair on top into two sections, so you have yes. a front and a rear. <laughs> <laughs> no. 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 Walter not going to be the barber. No. No. I'll leave that to the pros. Yeah, we got a special Mo, Mo, Mo got that. that down, so. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so uh, we're going to come back to the um we're going to come back here to the ATI mini. Um let's see, do we want to check out um let's make sure we let's check out the comments somewhere. What by the way are you thinking about giving away, Mike? Let us know. What are you thinking about here? Uh I'll say we're giving away a 50 cal mini. Oh. Oh, Man, that's sicky. a bad subject around here, but uh, oh, sicky. So we're gonna, we're gonna give away one of those. Um, I was thinking about also giving away a, um, an AR tack light stock with the buffer tube, and the uh, you know the spring, the buffer, the castanet lock ring. So a whole uh, stock assembly. Okay, very cool. All right, so let's uh. Let's see. Where do you where do you want to uh, do something first? You want to go into Instagram first, or sure, I'll check out Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So let's uh, let's check out Instagram, you guys. I think I gave you guys lots of opportunity. You know, um, you if you if you're if you're also if you have Facebook, you can go to Facebook and make comments and stuff like that over there. We're gonna go over. So you've got uh, which? What do you want to give away on the Instagram? Which one? That can't uh, be true. Instagram, let's go. Let's go with the uh, the fifty cal. Okay, so fifty cal on Instagram. Have you yep. been checking out the comments? Not. I've been fiddling with. This okay. All right. Let's give people a couple of more minutes. Then <laughs> I'm going to give everyone. I'm going to give everyone out there a little bit more time to get up on uh, Instagram and uh, and make your comments now because there's a fifty involved. So anyone out there who has not gotten your hands on one of the fifties, this is what it looks like right here at the ATI Mini. 50 BMG, very, very nicely done. Uh, get over to Instagram right now. Also, if you don't have Instagram, but you have Facebook, do that. And uh, we are, we already gave away something to, we got to figure out what we're giving to Richard Hughes. The sticker, right? That's what Richard gets, sticker? <laughs> one sticker. Yeah, one, there you go. <laughs> one sticker for Richard. One sticker. Richard, wanted, Richard, you're getting one sticker there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, I got your sticker right, right here. Right here. Maybe you yeah. can pass that crack in your in your sandals with that sticker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> A tactical sticker for your slippers. <laughs> uh, Richard uh, Hughes, uh, I'll send uh, Richard Hughes a uh, little care package of some ATI stuff. I'll get I'll get that taken care of. Yeah, yeah. Richard is our friend. He's our friend. We'll take care of him. He yeah. said excellent. Richard said excellent. So I don't know. He might not have any stickers or patches or anything like that yet, but Richard knows we'll take care of him. So Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he knows we'll take care of him. So you got a little bit of time to go over there and do that. Uh, let me see what else we're going to get into. Are there any other cards? Let's see. Kiaski says, where are the uh, 1911 Mini is going to hit first for sale? Probably the website. That's a guess. Yeah. Um, it, Tough to say. I mean, like when the 50 cal came out, we sold so many of them, we couldn't put them on our website for months. Yeah. Um, so it, it kind of depends, you know, we have to get them out there first. Obviously you guys see it, have seen it first. Um, but once I get the shot show and some of our customers and distribution, things like that, uh, it very well could be to dealers first. That's what happened with the 50 cal. Uh, my distributors bought it up, all of them. And so it was on dealer shelf before it was on our website, which is fine by me. Mm hmm. Yeah, so I see someone says that, uh, I, I mean, I don't know if this is fake news or not. PCB says Google is saying that ATI's website is under attack by malware. Uh, yeah, uh, yes. Um, that comes up because our website is very out of date, and we are working on a new site in the background, and that should be launching within the next month, and then you'll stop getting that uh, pop-up. Oh, okay. Yeah. We don't actually have... Uh, a virus issue on our site. Um, Are you just missing a cert? What's that? Are you just missing some sort of like cert for the site certificate? There, actually, we can't even do the update to make that go away because we're so out of date with the site. What do you guys uh, use? Uh, uh, is it custom built or was it built on something else? It, I, you, you broke up. What was the first thing you said? 
was a, is the site custom built or was it built on top of somebody's software? Uh, it was on someone's software. I don't know which one it was, but I think we're going to uh, WordPress after cool. that. I think our, I think our new ones we have WordPress. Okay. I, I I don't speak uh, technical <laughs> website stuff. I, uh, a buddy of mine does our website stuff, and he wants to go to WordPress because he's the one that takes care of it. So yeah, yeah. Um, and I see there's people asking for stuff here in the chat, so we'll give away something again in the chat here for you guys. Um, I don't know. We'll figure that out. You know, Walter, help us out to come up with uh, what we want, what we need the people to do here. Uh, uh, you know, actually, I have, I have a, um, I have a really good idea. There was something that we talked about at the end of the show yesterday. So, if you're watching the show yesterday, um, oh, wow. obviously, the the episode got split into two because we had a power outage. Mm. But you can find those two episodes are on this. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell, and everything. And then I put the two of them together. The podcast that's going out there is going to have both of those episodes in it, and I put the two together, so you can either watch them separately or watch the whole thing. But there was something that we discussed at the end that I asked about that was really, really funny. I'm trying to think of a way to uh, say it. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so if you if you can tell us what it was that we discussed in the end that was really, really funny, got a really big laugh out of everyone. Um, you know, we can we'll give something away to you. So let's see who remembers that. That's how we know who was watching yesterday, who looks all the time. There was something we said yesterday. Babyface, do you remember? I'm yeah. trying to think back. I yeah. I'm sure I will. It'll hit me. And it'll yeah. really okay. So we were talking about fast oh, food. Yeah, yeah, I, do. Yep, I got you. talking about fast food or something, and then I asked a question. Oh, don't put it in there. Yeah. What is Jay, it? Street Jay meat. Brennan. Okay, Jay Brennan, street meat. <laughs> street me okay so there you go jay brennan got yeah. some he's yeah, gonna get some saying yeah western okay jay brennan so you'll you'll get something from uh whoever's winning anything you need to get in touch with lola actually get in touch with us through um how the hell do they get in touch with us again through your your TV yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah extra <laughs> TV. yeah yeah, go through there, go through the mail mailing list, send us a message saying that you won, what it is you want, etc. And then we'll get that off to Mike and uh, we'll take care of that. Cisco 360 so. chiming in on what his favorite street meat is. Yes. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so>, uh, <laughs> and she loved you a long time. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't expect you guys to find that so funny. I was actually talking about oh. meat. Uh, yeah. yeah. First thing my brain went to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was actually talking about meat for real. Uh, so you've never like eaten, like uh, gotten meat on the streets. I, I live in Florida. This is not New York. Yeah, <laughs> I do yeah. not. So. <laughs> <laughs> or Bangkok. <laughs> Bangkok. I, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So there's lots of answers that kicked off uh, something again. Yeah, you started. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, so let's see. I think we've given people time. If you had a chance to check out the comments Me? over on the Instagrams, I keep oh. playing with that little nineteen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> seriously, Mike? Come on. You gotta... <laughs> okay, okay, Walter. I'm going to put you in charge because what Mike, of Instagrams? Yeah, you go. You I go like to that. ATI Outdoors Instagram. Walter. I'm on it right now. I'm yeah, on it. Because <laughs> Mike. Mike, this is not even cool, man. You're just gonna sit there and play with that thing. <laughs> I sound like I sound like your dad, right? You're just gonna sit there and play with that thing. He probably <laughs> broke it. Now he's trying to fix it. That's what... Yeah, he's enjoying it too much. Did you get that today? Did you get the prototype in today? I got it yesterday. Oh man, huh. so it's still a toy. It's still a brand new yeah. toy. Can we? Can yeah. the rest of us see it? Because you're on the show, so that you could show it. Just. Yeah. Cody, can, no, I've shown it, it up. To, we're done. No, show it to the people. <laughs> we're, show it to we're, people. we're done here. <laughs> no, you got to share. You have to share, Mike. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. There we go. Ooh, check that out. Swing. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So, ah, it's so cool. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That's the new ATI Mini 1911. Um, uh, there is one suggestion on face on Instagram that I would I would suggest. And you, all you gotta do is just wink, Mike. If you, uh, MP5. Who? Yep. <laughs> um, I'll leave it at I that. 
Personally, that is my favorite gun. I can't tell. Did he wink? Did he? He laughed. That means something. <laughs> he did that little, like, and laugh even better and then, yet, an MP5 covered it. <laughs> even better yet, an MP5K with a really cool SHF uh, uh, collapsible stock on it. That'd be like. Oh. I mean, SG would be. Well, I mean, it's, not the, it's not the same category as bullpup in my book. I don't know, man. Um, nothing beats <laughs> bullpup. Nothing. Actually, everything. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I do want that new Keltec shotgun, though. Yeah, and they do uh, make okay. they do make it with pick rail on top too, not that goofy. Yeah. Uh... Walter, bless her. When you're looking through those comments, look for people who shared it with someone. If someone said at someone at someone else, oh man, somebody look... was an at at and mofo here. One of the guys. At someone, at someone else. Yeah, uh, look for some... yeah, look for someone who um you know did a the at someone. Oh, somebody beats that one with at. What okay. what platform? Instagram. Instagram. Uh, you can you can look at Facebook, uh, baby face. You can look at Facebook because obviously Mike is not going to get over to that either. Am I picking somebody? Divide and conquer while I'm gone. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys um if you guys have like Facebook, this, go over to Facebook as well. Huh? Said I like this mini. Who's uh who is at Gun Fox? Oh wait a minute! Something I need. Is there some skin we need to look at? Where did at or you something? see this on Facebook? I did a search. You go to Facebook. You do a search for uh, ATI. Hold on, I'll, I'll, I'll get it to you. I'll get it to you. Don't worry. Oh okay, hang on. There you go. Man, mm -hmm. Hank's not gonna like it. Not enough meat on the bones for Hank. Uh, let me see. What is this long that, ass oh, link? You just I don't. Get to oh, wait a minute. Facebook. Just just click it. Here's her Instagram. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, well. She's got nice hands. <laughs> <laughs> Don't oh, laugh, man. man. Hands are fit. Nice fingers are important. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, yeah. she got blue eyes. That's right. That's what I like. Yeah. And she oh, oh what's she wearing around her neck? Mustang. That's Mustang. Why. Right. That's the reason why <laughs> baby face is all over that. Show wing. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Gun Fox. All, all right. We need, all we need is a little side boob, and we'd be done with it. You know what I'm saying? We got yeah. one person sharing, on Facebook. We only got one share in Facebook. Okay. You like, guys still like have a little... people. Yeah. You guys have time. If you don't get over to Facebook and do something, you're gonna lose out. Yeah. yeah. This, he right here. He's about to win it. You better, you better hurry up. And Walter, Walter, you're still looking through. I'm looking at the Instagram. So if you guys haven't got on the Instagrams, do it. Oh, get over there because. Yeah, I'm checking out Gun Fox's other posts on uh, Instagram. I'm not doing that. I'm definitely not doing that. I'm putting my phone down. <laughs> uh, Behave yourself. Jafari7 asks if it takes Glock mags. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Somebody had to. Okay, Gun Fox has some muscles. Yeah. Some muscles. Mike has to tell us who that is when he gets his yeah. headphones back on. All right, shout out to Gun Fox. <laughs> we, we don't even know. Uh, she's, she's a girl. <laughs> yeah, like Simpson Road Larry says Facebook is lame. Okay, I get it, but ATI Outdoors is on Facebook. You know, we've got they come on and they give away stuff for free. Plus, Mike is spending his time here. Right. You know, um, you know, this is a big executive at ATI Outdoors that we have can, on here. Yeah, can you yeah. can you believe it, getting a, a C level exec on any other platform would be like impossible? <laughs> hey, wait a minute, wait a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> wait wait a minute. Minute. He's the only one that has the uh, the, the hoodie. The That's hoodie. right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, the official uh, paraphernalia of ATI <laughs> Outdoors. So. Um, All right, back to Instagrams. Yeah, Armament like, and Axis says hashtag side boob. Uh, was that is me some... or was that Gun Fox? I don't know. Is Gunfox. there is there Gun Fox side boob? <laughs> yeah, I don't know whose was it. Uh, my side boob or I don't know. I got in we're, trouble with that side. We're boob looking stuff, at somebody so. named Gun Fox uh, showing off some ATI minis. That's what we're discussing. Yeah, yeah. Mooba is not happy about the social media stuff. Uh, but listen, I get it. We have you know we, we ATI is coming on. They're coming on here to obviously promote themselves and stuff like that so i can't find the gun that's what we're doing right and we're giving we've given away stuff already here inside the chat so uh walter you're supposed to be focusing on picking <laughs> no, out I, one on instagram no. <laughs> walter's busy yeah stick, uh, no none of you guys can stick to this town. oh man oh, oh, what's going what is what is i have been looking at, i have been looking at the, the other thing Oh my goodness. Listen, and like I said before, we're like today's tonight's gonna be our last show. We're going off to shot show. 
So you won't hear from us until we, sometime after we get back from SHOT Show. Um, you can get in touch with us on social media. You know, you can also use my, um, my, my, uh, I've got a number that's out there. If you look on uh, Instagram, you can find it. I think it's on Facebook as well. You can look around and find it. It's out there. You guys can come up, uh, come up with that thing. Get in touch with me through social media, or whatever else. If you, if there's something at Shot Show you want to look at, we're going to be going live and doing all those kinds of things. Might go live from the ATI booth. Oh uh, heck yeah! Uh, I'm going to do that more. If I see something cool, I'm going to go live. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll be hanging out with Walter. Uh, I'm going to visit my friends at Fort Scott. They got the 450 Bushmaster that we are we are building up a gun right now. Of course, you know, just 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 in case you were wondering, Mike, we are using some ATI outdoor parts. Oh, yes. There. Awesome. Yeah. Are we doing that tomorrow? Um, I, I is depending on the mail. Are we going to, yeah, are I we going to plan our mail or our day around the mailman? Well, yeah, I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for stuff to be delivered and it's really important because, okay, did you guys, where is that news? Oh, let me see. Where is this? I think, um, here we go. So have you guys, I think you guys have heard of the, um, the reformation, right? You've heard of the reformation from Franklin Armory. Okay, I, I think have a question about that. Yeah, so I'm gonna put this up here. There's a it's in the firearm blog and one is coming to us tomorrow. So um are they oh. sending you any sort of ammo with it or I, I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> well, because it'll I believe it'll still fire regular five five six, you just don't put any spin on it. So yeah. I was curious uh, and they, they don't even have the five five six ammo up on their website. Yeah, I'm not sure what's coming. I know that uh, I need to to be around tomorrow to get that, and then I'm going to try to do a video and get it up so I can get you guys some details of actually shooting it. This is what the uh, the uh, firearm blog says: Franklin Armory Reformation, the semi-automatic musket cometh. <laughs> oh, that's uh, why it wouldn't this? come out for me. Who wrote this? Uh, Matthew Moss. Uh, well, it's not technically a musket. It isn't a smooth bore. It has straight rifling rather than spiraled. You may remember the hype which surrounded Franklin Armory's mysterious reformation on the run-up to SHOT Show 2018. Well, almost exactly a year later, the reformation is now available. Cool. So there you go. Uh, boasting an SBR length without need for an NFA tax stamp, the reformation uh, now has its ATF certification. What? What? Technically speaking, it's considered a firearm and a shotgun. Wow. As no spin is imparted onto the projectile under Gun Control Act, so under the GCA, but not under the National Firearms Act. Uh, this has been confirmed in a summary letter from the director of International Firearms Specialist Academy, Daniel O'Kelly. And then there's a link to it. So. We're, we're, we're going to get our hands on one of those tomorrow, and I'll try to get like a quick first impressions thing up for you guys about that. What do, what do you all think about this? Uh, I want to see it and shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I see Rich White says, I have no interest in the Reformation. The Norse Horseman says, uh, no, thank you. People saying things. Listen. I, I want to see. I want to see what kind of recoil it's got. That'd be interesting to see what. Yeah. that's. it should be the same as a five five six. It's just the only difference is there's no twist on it. Well, the twist, the twist in, in in imparts the pressure on the bullet. So, you know, um, that whole yeah, the it's twist really doesn't. It. It's the bullet expanding to fill the barrel that imparts yeah, the back pressure. Yeah, but it it causes resistance as the bullet's going to push down that through that rifling. So my money's on it's going to feel exactly the same. It's just the ammo is going to be really expensive. Survey and says, yeah. yeah. And and here's the thing, um, guys. Here's here's what I think. One, um, Franklin Armory started out in California. You know, they moved over to Nevada. These guys are, um, you know, staunch Second Amendment guys. We're always talking about companies out there that are real Second Amendment people. They are, and what mm -hmm. they're trying to do is for people in places like California and other places that don't have access to stuff. They are creating options for you. They're they're also pushing boundaries that need to be pushed. Yeah, with so, things like your triggers and whatnot. So, right, I'm totally and, bored. Yeah, and obviously, full disclosure, these guys, you know, they help us uh, put on this podcast and all that kind of stuff. But at, at the same time, I think we need people pushing these kind of boundaries and doing things so that you have things available. Okay, yeah. so that's just a thing to think about. And what it gives us an opportunity to do is bring you some more information on it. 
So, you know, we'll see. We'll get that out to you guys. Yeah. Walter, overall, have you? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Patrick. What are you going to say? say? I think overall, it, I don't think it's going to be a marketable success for them, but I think it adds some technology that wasn't there before and kind of just, I, I think overall, it's a good thing to have just differences in the market. Yeah. And if you guys, if people, I'm not saying the folks who are listening to this, who are here in the chat and who support what we do. I know you guys are pro second amendment, but if the people out there don't stand up for the second amendment, you're just, it's going to keep getting more and more eroded <laughs> and you're going to have less and less options. And what these guys are doing is pioneering, bringing some options to you. No, yeah. so no one's trying to force anyone to buy anything, but I think it's good to explore these options and see, you yeah, know, don't hurt anything. Do. Yeah. Go ahead, Patrick. Were you going to say something? No, I just it, – it's uh, – you know, it might spur somebody else on to make a better product or to make a different product. So anything like that is always good to me. All right, here yeah. we go. The, the pants. I mean, it's cool that they're kicking the NFA in the nuts and all. Yeah, I'm on board. I think we all are. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, kudos to that. Okay, Walter. Yes, sir. You ready you for a winner? Yes, have you found a winner? Oh, I, I, well, if you, the, it, it, well, let me let me just say this. You told me to judge it by shares and everything else. Yeah, look for someone who shared and then. And the share like master is da, 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 the share master is unloaded media ri underscore rich white. Oh, rich white. Okay, Shout he shared it. He shared. He was the top share. Um, at Clover Tech at Ghost Tactical at. Gizzard Airy, something or other, Safety Harbor Firearm, Tank Strange, and the Crazy Scotsman. Boom! Cool. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> Unloaded Rich White. You, Rich White. Underloaded yeah. Medias. Unscored yeah. White. Rich White, you get, you're get. you going to get one of these from Mike. Hit us up on HankStrange.tv through the uh, the mail list. Make Sign up. Send us an email through that. Tell us what and where you want it and everything. And we will get Mike to send that out to you. And and don't be in a rush because Mike is about to go off to SHOT Show. Yeah, yeah. And so Just, are we. We'll try to get it to you as soon as possible, you know, with the understanding that, you know, stuff's going to be going on here. So yeah. Rich White says, woohoo. Thanks, guys. Yippee. So there you go. He's in the chat. That's awesome. I always love it when people are in the chat. and they. But, of course, that's why we announce it during the show. Yeah. So you gotta actually like look at the show, Mike. Uh, what's up with you, man? I hope you had you know, you had a nice little break there. I'm sure you refreshed the cup. I was getting some things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you've got the accessories. Oh yeah. yeah, show us the accessories. So that's the the stock, the the scope, and the click for, on foregrip. Oh, that's cool. I do like that. Um. Yeah, yeah that's so what looks, like, that's what we got in mind. Like a standard M4. That's pretty neat. Hey, ACOG is cool. Stock yeah. is cool. And that uh that uh Knights Armament looking front foregrip is also cool too. Yeah. Well, it could be anybody's yeah. foregrip, but okay. So you can turn you can turn a plain Jane AR mini yeah. into you could you can sexy it up a little bit with an ACOG and a bunch of different things. Very cool. All yeah. available on the website. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. Which is 25% off right now. So there you go. Okay, Babyface, you are working on the Facebook, and uh, uh, I've only gotten I got one guy right now that I think is about to win it because there's like yeah. one share. So we wanted people to share. So if you if you if you're interested, go over to Facebook and share it. Share it out over there. Share Let's your ass it. off. Yeah, help oh. get it all ginned up. Get up on it. Ginned up. Yes. Uh, can we see the? Is it okay, Mike? Can we see the 1911 one more again? Or? Man. Is that a violation of some policy? You don't want to, you want to show it to anyone, huh? <laughs> he's so stingy. Well, you, to show like, it. Oh, wait, there we go. At Shot Show, he's gonna make sure that thing doesn't walk off with you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, babyface. I thought you were sending me messages to definitely get that from Shot Show. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it on the black market. <laughs> Somebody will buy it. Yeah. But the Hank, I gotta send you some of these uh, stocks for the the AR Mini. I mean, I agree. These yes. are, I mean, all these accessories are all metal. Oh wow, oh, that's cool. I mean, cool. this is this is all metal. Everything to its metal, including nice. like and like I said, even the the scope and the foregrip, everything like that. It's all metal, so that they are really cool. They're a lot of that's detail. Awesome. Yeah, it's really. 
Now, let me ask you this. Have you ever considered making a bullpup kit for the AR? <laughs> uh, uh, no. No. <laughs> Good answer, Mike. Good answer. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, the Archangel says, when's the ATI mini suppressor coming? I thought you can already get a... I know I've There's got a suppressor. Kid, on this. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, the so, AR comes with a can on the end. Comes with it. Oh yeah, it's yeah. got a can on. That's right. Yeah. Uh, but maybe they want a sexy. Maybe they. No, that's not me that asked that question. Oh, I'm I'm asking the question on behalf that, of someone. Is that can modeled after any specific can? Shh. Oh yeah, I guess that's. <laughs> I mean, is that a is that a problem? I don't know. Oh fuck yeah, it's a problem. Go on. <laughs> you know what would be cool though? You know what would be cool with this? A tactical vest. <laughs> Oh jeez! You know, then extra magazines. Joe, yeah, you could put your little, you could put your little magazines For in Christmas the back. This year, guys, just get Hank a GI Joe. We'll put the gun in it. Uh oh, hand. I got a better one. Yeah, get him a My Little Pony with a tag. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh no, no, no! I'd rather have the GI Joe. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought, I thought you were just trying to get me to get the Gun Fox to model more stuff. Hey, oh, there yeah, you go. there yeah, you go. Right. Why not? Why I not? Just, I liked her page just to keep an eye on her. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we know you're keeping lots of eyes, Walter. You're creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Walter's got lots of eyes being kept in lots of different places. I can't. Be careful, you'll shoot your eye out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, or as, as I get told, you're gonna go blind. And I said, I'm I'm trying to go blind as much as I can. Come on. <laughs> oh, it's such an old thing. Yeah, you'll go blind. Okay. So, so we'll give Someone just did the, the you'll shoot your eye out uh, comment on one of my posts today where I was showing off my new tack wall setup. Um, I thought that was funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, your tack wall, your tactical wall, by the way, um, pretty badass. To good freaking use. Whoa. Yeah, Hanks is yeah. not. Yeah, <laughs> mine needs to get box. Yeah. After Since shot, moved, though, I got to get you a sign, Hank Strange. I got to get you a sign. Yeah, yeah. Since we moved over, I haven't put mine up, so. Yeah, you got to get a sign or something to go up over here. I've got an idea a already. Big space right here on the wall. Uh, I, got I'm up the, to, I got 23, 23 guns hanging up. Yeah, man. You're not pretty good. Oh, that's cool. We need to do, uh, we need to do a, a Safety Harbor Firearms in uh, Neon. Hang that behind Hank. Oh, yeah. a, uh, oh you old mean school. a sign? Yeah, old school Neon Oh, yeah, that's sign. what I was thinking. Yeah, well, like a palm tree. Yeah, it kind of, kind of, it kind of looks like it's breaking, like it flashes every once in a while. Yeah, like that'd be pretty neat. Like yeah. it's going out. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we could put it right here. By the way, this whole wall, this whole wall, you can help support the Hank Strange situation. Get up on this wall here, you know. Um, or Let's the wall build the wall. Here. Build the yeah. wall, Hank Strange. Yeah. Or you can go to Contributus that we were talking about. <laughs> and to build the wall. Yeah, gun, the gun streamer guys were on yesterday talking about Contributus. So, you know, um, if you guys haven't seen that, basically – Gunstreamer has a way that you can contribute to your favorite content creators on their platform. It's called Contributus. You can go in there and the, the content creators can create tiers and, and give you access to videos and things like that. <laughs> I think tiers. Was, That's funny. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so uh, if anybody in the chat knows somebody who's good with neon signs, let us know. Uh, yeah, let me know because um, I was talking about doing that bef um, before um, ATF took away 75% of my income. Um, <laughs> um, but as um, soon as some there's a resolution, I'm going to get a, a neon sign made. So maybe a couple of them. So yeah. yeah. Now, you know what I'd like to know, Mike? Can we put like the A1 style stock on this? It needs an M16A1. Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Do you guys, uh, you, you guys have one of those, right? Or. Work on I'm it. going to. Okay. That'll be an accessory, yeah. Yeah. See, look, I like the details of this. Look at this. Just look at this for a second. Look at the dust cover. Boom. Boom. Love that. Oh, wow. Let me that check it just out. really cool. Check that out. Dust cover. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. What? Let's see here. Let's lock it on Walter. Boom. There it goes. Can yeah. you see that? No. You got to hold it closer. Oh, drop. us oh, a base. That's not the. Ready? Yeah. Boom, there it goes. It drops the dust cover down. Very yeah. nice, very nice. I know. Uh, can we trouble you one more again, Mike, to show us the 1911? <laughs> uh, yeah. Man, you know, it's like... You should have just, you know, just set me one. I, you there know, you I go, ready? You know, there's Boom. guns in this room, and all, all we want <laughs> we to play with is toys. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah. I think that 1911 is badass, man. I got to say that. And you guys know I'm not even like a massive 1911 guy. But, you know, there we go. Here we go. There it goes. One more again with the awesomeness. All metal. All metal. All metal. Um, All metal for you, Tyvin. All metal for you, Tyvin. Show us the magazine. I love the magazine. My boss laughs at me because how much I like the magazine. I, I think it's it looks it honestly looks so it looks good. Like it, um, <laughs> it even well, has like little like grinding marks and stuff, and you probably can't <laughs> see it on the camera. But uh, yeah. you know, as this is a prototype, and I'm like I'm looking at the little grinding marks and the finishing marks, and I'm like, we should leave that. <laughs> it looks awesome. Mm -hmm. Walter, do you have your 1903 sitting around? It looks just like one of those little tiny 32 ACP magazines for an uh, 03. Oh, it's in the safe. Yeah, <laughs> I can get it. That is really cool. Okay, so okay, babyface. Um, I think we've given people enough time. We've given All right, people ready enough for time. the winner? Yeah. So who's the winner on Facebook? Uh, hold go. on, let me see. Uh, let me see. Uh, let me go over. Make sure you refresh it before you do it. Before I, there were, were, there's one person that that was the first to comment and share and do all the things. So I'm gonna give it to him. Okay, we did get 14 comments, but um, okay, who was it? Uh, Rick Rasnick. Rick Rasnick. Okay, there you go. Rick and Rasnick in contact. You won something. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he he won the Taclite stock and the tube and the you know, spring buffer cast nut lock ring. So that package. Nice. That's pretty awesome. So don't it, it, it look I got just it, like it? I got an ATI mag before anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you bitches. <laughs> Um, very similar. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just saying, uh, you're the winner. Oh, I know. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Richard, Richard Rasnick. I'm sure he's in the chat here. Is Richard? Is Richard in the chat here? Uh, where is he? I don't know. I'm assuming he's in the chat here. Oh, you bitches! So congratulations. <laughs> so congratulations to him. Uh, very nice. Sorry for nice. stealing the show, but you know. So. No, that's okay. So, what is this thing that you said you got before everyone? Okay, Mike's got guns. Oh, now you after I'm okay. Let's this talk guns. And I see you have the new, um, the uh, the new muzzle device there on that gun. You want to show us that, Mike? This one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that that ginormous. Yeah. Ooh, that thing is scary looking. Ooh. Yeah, I think I've got I've got some pictures of this. I need to post from when Mike was here. You're gonna make Nancy Pelosi bear uh, bear scary muzzle that. breaks. Looks like a chess piece. <laughs> Looks like that's, a, that's one of those things that go move along. Yeah, move along. pain, pain inflictor. Along. Yeah, move along. This is actually one of my uh, one of my own builds. This is my personal gun. Um, this is actually a po polymer eighty lower. Okay. Cool. Just the lower. I've never, yeah, I've never used one of their lowers. They're AR lowers. Yeah. Yeah, we've uh, you've shot. I've got something I built on it. I don't know if you shot that or not, Patrick. Mm, probably. Yeah, but well, it's a pretty lightweight build. I mean, the 15 inch handguard on it. I think it came in at 5.7 pounds. Okay. Yeah, that's so. that's good. Yeah, that's in the category of that lightweight build that we did, right, Walter? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. The Norse the Norse Horseman says, "Congrats to all the dicks." <laughs> 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 all the all the Richards will uh, <laughs> all <winning> the dicks. <laughs> the dicks. Yeah out there okay walter what were you digging what were you digging into there well you... i guess you um you know we were saying the baby face was saying it looks like the colt the colt 1903 colt magazine the uh ati mm -hmm. 45 well that's just a real gun not much size difference it's a real gun it's a real yeah. gun but anyways yeah so that magazine is similar to that you yeah, we help? need to get some scale on that 1911. Uh, you need to hold it in your hand, but with something next to it to give us some kind of idea of scale, Mike. I can do that. And yeah. uh, not what you're thinking, because <laughs> yeah. 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 that's let, just going to be too small. Let me get some out for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> be careful. John could be watching for all we know. 1903 Colt. Yeah, that looks good, Walter. I like that. Boom. Like, yeah. That's baby. Baby face is bluing handiwork. That's right. 
still holding up pretty well, it looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's I've really given it no special attention besides putting a little lube on it. But. Okay, so there you go. There's your car keys. Yeah. Are, are, they, are you holding them parallel to each other? No, they're cool. It's like That's that? Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a oh, good size. Yeah. Good size. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Or my. Uh, oh, put it next to a real 1911. Someone says, or oh. a Glock if you don't have oh. a 1911. Okay, Here's there my, you go. My North, my North American arms. So it's the size of an NAA. <laughs> That's awesome. I got to Hold on. I'm gonna go grab mine from downstairs. I'll <laughs> That's cool. That is really cool. Put it up next to a Glock. Let's see. I see you got a Glock in the background. I got a. I got a Glock. You got a 1911 back there? Oh, you got uh, a CZ. It's similar. You got a CZ. <laughs> Don't knock that shotgun off. All right, here we go. Here we go. Another comparison. All right, let's see. He's getting he's getting ready here. There we go. Okay, so there goes the CZ. There goes the 1911. <laughs> Wow, so that's what uh, quarter scale or something like that. Or... <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just really. It's still about a third scale like the other ones. Yeah, I think you you might get arrested in the airport. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm not. No, absolutely not bringing that with me in the airport. No way. Yeah, Psycho three sixteen says ATI should make a mini nineteen eleven to fire real twenty two short. There you go. So this is the size of it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's cool. Do we do we ever do a video on this? Probably not. We need to. Yeah, yeah. Need you know, to get a video I, going. I yeah, there's my on the uh, internet about these either. Yeah, I I I love my North American arms. It's really cool. I really love mine. I got the bug out edition, so it comes in like the little plastic waterproof, and it has a, a tritium front sight, so it's night sighted. I yeah. got uh, this folding grip. I got the standard one that came with. It's kind of like a wood inlay one, and then I've got the uh, leather like wallet version. Yeah, yeah, these things are fun. These are definitely worth. This was Hank. If uh, for anybody that watched the video, uh, Hank just put out. We talked about impulse buying. Um, this was an impulse buy. I think it was. It was like a hundred and forty, hundred and fifty, maybe. Maybe two hundred. I don't know. It was not expensive, and I was like, "Yeah, that's cool. We'll take it home." That was an impact. Yeah. Uh, Brick says those shadow two pistols are sexy. Aries firearms. Our friend Trey says he has four of them, and they're awesome. They're so much fun. Th yeah. This was an impulse buy. That's a good impulse buy. That's an expensive impulse buy, but yeah, you really can't. You can't go wrong with that. No, it's not at all. Most expensive gun that I have, and it's my only impulse gun ever. Mm. I, I was at a show. I saw it. I loved it. Took it home. <laughs> it was mine. Yep. Uh, the Norse Horseman says that's way better than a folding pocket knife. You can just shoot open packages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pant says NAA needs to bring back the belt buckle holster. Did they get rid of that? Oh. And that was to fit one of those on. I, I didn't realize they got rid of those because I. Yeah, I didn't either. Yeah, because I've I know I've still uh, seen them out there. Wanna, you want to see my latest impulse buy? Yeah, let's check it out. What you got? Oh wait, wait, wait! There you go. Kaboom! X something. Back it off just a little bit. There you go. X three hundred Ultra from. It's a Surefire. Surefire. Okay. And if anybody wants this and or needs this, I'm selling this. It came with it. It's the XT seven. So this is the kit that is a pressure switch and a back cap for the X300 to run it on a rifle. I was going to run this on my crank. I don't like it. So if anybody wants it, anybody needs one, tell me. I'm selling it. Okay. All so right. now that I don't like it on the crank, I think it's going to go on the uh, MMP. What are you putting on the crank? I was going to put this as the flashlight, uh, X300 oh. Ultra. Uh, but I don't, I don't like it as much as the Enforce that I have. So this is uh -huh. going to go on the this gun. Good flashlight, though. Just really expensive. Archangel says, most expensive gun I have is the one swing, and it's priceless. Laugh out loud. What the hell is a one swing? One swing? I don't know. That's some I kind of slang. I don't know what it means. Yeah, I just <laughs> read that, and I didn't get it either. Yeah. Uh, does that mean schlong? <laughs> one swing, and it's all done. <laughs> um, you only get one swing in. <laughs> 
Uh, um, okay. 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 There we there we go. Um, he doesn't know what to say now. He's lost. No, I'm looking at Eric Hammond says his insult, impulse buys are on hold till I get a job. I yeah. can't afford a gun. I know okay. that. Um, yeah. It happens. It happens. You you'll get there, man. Hey, for Always. somebody, any, anybody. Speaking of impulse buys, anybody looking to get a Star BM? Um, Aim has not Aim. I, I would just like regular BM. J. A Star. Just okay. regular BMs. Star <laughs> B. Star <laughs> BM at uh, at uh, J and G sales for like one forty nine. Whoa, one forty nine. That's, that's really? the cheapest um, I've seen them. So. Oh, I. You know what I did impulse buy, Walter? I did pick up one of those set me parts kits for one ten the other day. Yeah, well, that was a good price. Yeah, they uh, Sarco had the set me parts kits for one ten and the barrel for one forty. So I was like, ah, that's an impulse buy. I'll it's buy. Not it. bad. It's not no, bad. No, no. And, and G threes are always fun. They're such fun to shoot. So yeah, much fun. Other than good. Hanks, Hanks is terrible. What? Your G, your G three sucks because of that stock that's on that it. That stock is obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, the stock is pretty bad. It left a bruise. Oh, I'm sure it did. <laughs> that stock is uh, atrocious. For anybody that hasn't seen, Hank has a, a basically a set me or G three clone, um, and it has one of the wire pullout stocks, like on a an MP five. The paratrooper stock. <laughs> yeah, paratrooper stock. But when you throw that on a three hundred eight, it's it's not fun at all, <laughs> like at all. It's about that big and about that wide yeah it's like and, it, and it's I, got it's got old school rubber on the back that's turned into uh, a meat tenderizer oh uh, it's horrible <laughs> yeah now by the way for anyone for any for all the people out there who do have instagram you can go check out that video of me shooting uh full auto right there on walter Sh belt fed shrike oh the shrike yes. that's on the instagrams oh, and you guys can so check cool. it out what kind of yeah. numbers you at now on that? Uh, it's it's all right. It's like uh, almost three thousand views. Oh, so you guys need to go help it out. Yeah, bust go it check up. it out and make comments and share it with your friends and stuff like that. For everyone out there that has Instagram, but um, actually the Fight Light people made a comment on there. I don't know if you saw that, Walter. I didn't see that. I haven't checked that out. I'll have to. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Oh. Our, our minute actor tells me I keep shaking my camera because I do this. Yeah, he gave two bucks. Armin <laughs> and it actually says, "Babyface, get a better camera mount." Hashtag shaky face P. Uh, I made I that up. I made that I up. I want to get a desk. That shaky doesn't. Face. That doesn't do this. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, shaky face. Yeah, but go check out that video of the shooting the fight light. Uh, what is it? MRC Walter. Walter calls it a Shrike. It's a Shrike. That's what it was bought, built, sold as, a Shrike. Yeah, they call it the MRC or something. They actually, if you go look at their comment, Walter, they said that's really old. <laughs> they were like, damn, we haven't, we didn't make that thing in years because they can tell. Uh, I guess, well, let the... me make a, I can tell you, you know, my response to that, it took nine years to get that thing. So, <laughs> from the time I ordered it, the time it delivered was nine years. So, I did the at thing to you on there, Walter. I said, hey, I got this from at. Safety Harbor Firearms. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you know, he knows who I am. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> He's like, oh, that annoying. Guy? Yeah. No, no, no. You know what? Oh, on that note, no, 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 no. You know what? I I never bugged Jeff Herring one time about the Shrike, um, because I wanted the thing. I didn't want my money back. He'd give people their money back. I didn't want my money back. I wanted the damn upper. Yeah. So yeah, and you got it. And I got uh, it. Yeah, I mean, you know. Nine years? What's nine years? Come on, yeah. man! Now you got a movie. Now you got a movie gun. In oh, the Hank yeah, movie yeah. Gun. yeah, yeah. So here's uh here's my impulse buy right here. Boom, Don't boom. even. Woo. Don't even. Woo. Where's one? Where's uh, Lola's? To, uh, I got half of that right there. This one is this one is Lola right here. Lola had to. I got a Microtech, and then Lola, being Mrs. Copy Pants. <laughs> Had to also go get a microtech. So who's, here's her who's microtech. Mr. Who's Mister Copy Pants? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Look, dual wielding, dual wielding right now. Boom! Check that out. The microtech dual wielding. Uh, yeah. So Lola got her hands on one. Um, not. It's not as in good shape as this one. It's a used microtech. So, yeah. But, but it was you know, a it's, it's, it's trade deal. Decent. It worked pretty well. Yeah, it's pretty decent. If she doesn't want it, I'll take it. I'll take it from her yeah but she she wants it she wants it she's happy with it not you know not as badass as the hellhound uh walter Check question for you yes sir have you shot your star bm yes i have i, I did actually once 
Because I feel like this is an impulse buy about to happen. <laughs> oh, um, it's, 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 old, it's old school, all steel. Um, they're made well. Stars are nothing wrong with stars. I feel like for 150 bucks, even if I don't like it a couple years from now, it'll be worth more than that. Uh, Mac, Military Arms Channel, he's reviewed it. All, all the majors have reviewed it. So yeah. it, it, It's kind of cool. Yeah. I want to get another. I feel my, like you know, my thing is, I want another high power. I got rid of my high power like a couple years ago, like an idiot. That's the only gun that I've sold that I regret to this. Point. I want to pick up an Israeli high power. Yeah, those oh. are nice too. Every once in a while, Aim Surplus gets that stuff. And I, I, yeah, yeah. I picked up mine for like three hundred dollars, and then I sold it to some guy when I needed cash. Oh. And hang on, only only pistol oh. I regret selling to this day. Let's see, where's that thing? At? Yeah. Only gun. So the Everything so the Star BM is what what did Walter say it is one forty nine one forty nine one hundred fifty bucks. Oh. They're ones crazy. that are they're they're in good condition. So hey, you can sandblast and and uh, park it. Or my park son, it, yeah. my, my yeah. son thinking about it. He's like, it's like, oh, just reblue it. And I said, we'll talk to Babyface. You tell you. How yeah, I can I can do a blue for him. Yeah, Big Dick Willie says buy it. Mister F and H says uh, <laughs> DCG forty four says do it. <laughs> buy yeah. what? Big Dick yeah. Willie's in the house. Big Dick Willie. Yeah, the show. Norse horse. So I should regret that. I did. I, it even had it had wood grips. Let me see if I can find a picture. It was. And by the way, cool. he called you Shaky Face Pete. That is I now your name. That. <laughs> <laughs> That's the new hashtag. That's yeah. new hashtag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, gonna to, I'm gonna have to like wall mount my my monitor so I don't have to deal with this. Uh, uh, neckbone and Shaky. The Adventures <laughs> of Neckbone and Shaky Face Pete. <laughs> 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 that's, that's gonna be that would be such an awesome series <laughs> i told uh this this is kind of an inside joke but you guys hopefully somebody will get a laugh out of this marley went the other day uh this has been about a month ago and went to bath and body works and bought this little tiny loofah that i swear to god is like this big and i don't understand it because it's she's like oh it's a travel loofah i was like oh all loofahs are travel loofahs. They, they fall flat you just flat you squeeze them they're travel yeah. loofahs yeah. yeah so i was like i was like i'm gonna write a book called marley and the tiniest loofah <laughs> oh you better you better think about that oh yeah <laughs> think about that here you go i'm gonna show you guys a picture of the high power that i was retardedly i retardedly um, so i'm trying to think where mine's at was someone looking for the link to that um to that uh star bm that's on j and g sales j and g sales yeah. j and g sales okay let's pull up i don't know this. if they're sold out or not yet but yeah j and g sales if i wasn't in if i wasn't in a uh a fiscal uh, restraint oh, i like those it. grips i like those grips Isn't that, oh, it was beautiful and i was an idiot uh, this was yours this was yours the one that yep. you had uh, that's before you and i met i sold it off oh uh. Okay. I've thought a couple times about emailing the guy, sold it to him, be like, "Hey, you still got it? You want to sell it back to me? I'll take it back." Yeah. Yes, want. for five thousand dollars. I sold it to him for like five hundred. Mm -hmm. I made out. I mean, I I, I bought it for like yeah. three something, and I sold it yeah. for five. So I didn't Pat lose money. But right, Patrick, if you have a link, can you put the link for the uh, Star BM on here yeah. or okay. share it? I think Mister FNH is looking for that link. Oh yeah, I'll, um, I'll take it up in a second. Yeah. Let's see what's going yeah, on. If I wasn't in, in there, uh, if if my if my uh, uh, bank account wasn't in a government shutdown mode, I I would probably <laughs> order a couple of them just to have. Uh, yeah, see. Eric Eric sent me that. Eric Hammond, boom. There you go. Is that Star a BM for you? Yeah. Didn't we do a video on this, Walter? You guys may have. Uh, I, we might have. Yeah. yeah I know I did. shot it out of your place. I can't remember if I posted it or not. <laughs> well, that's another story. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, cause I honestly probably just on Walter alone, we've got like what Walter, like 10, 15 videos that never got posted. I don't know. You tell me. We shoot so many videos when we get together. Yeah. You know, we shoot videos till we're blue in the face. I mean, Our I've video, got videos, I've got videos with Mike. We haven't posted. Here's a question that, yeah. uh, from Armit and Axe is that I don't know the answer for you guys. Um, I've known Hank for what, three or four years now, three years. Okay. So, uh, he's asking how long we've all known each other. Oh, and Walter, okay. see, I've known Walter for the same time. Um, yeah. How long has it been? Feels like I've eternity. Known, I've known Walter maybe five years. <laughs> Is Walter? it going on five now? Maybe four or five at least. Four probably. Yeah. yeah. You you initiated the contact. You and yeah. I met you through Peter Palmer. Yeah. Well, you and Peter came over. Yeah. Yeah. Of top shot fame. Every time you say his name, I feel like you're. It, it sounds like a lisp, and I know it's Palma, Palma. but it always yeah, sounds Peter like Palma. 
Yeah. You're Palmer. Peter Palmer. Peter Palmer. Yeah. Palmer. You know what I'm saying? That guy named Peter Palmer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Peter exactly. Palmer. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Mike, how long have we known you, Mike? I don't know. I would say uh, 35 it's... seconds. It is. One year. There, you know what I'm saying? One year. One year. I think. I, I think Shut for show. our for our anniversary, Mike, 1911 mini. So. <laughs> it never stops. That's what. <laughs> He's like, mm, I don't think so. Oh, R R eight for many. R eight for many. Come on. R eight for many. Mm, straight up. No. Mm, That's straight no. up. Yeah. Mm. No. I love Mike, but not that much. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you two. <laughs> oh, two? Oh, yeah, both of them. The only the only two in existence right now. Yeah, that you know, that makes me think. <laughs> He'll even get one chrome plated for you. Come yeah. On. Yeah, I want uh, I want dictator style gold. <laughs> oh gold god. Plate. Oh yeah, there you go. Now hey. that actually would be cool. Especially I agree. AK all gold plated. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Uh okay, let's see. So what uh do we have some guns to show off here? Uh Ray Bazolo says a ATI, any chance of the M1 Garand or M1A1 in the future? One wink for yes, two winks for no. <laughs> Are we talking about minis or accessories? Mm, um, I think we're talking about minis. Minis? I I'd, I'd put a maybe on that. Mm. I I may have talked about that before. Yeah, the bullpup. After the bullpup, then those will come. There's no bullpup. There's no. <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot that down right now. <laughs> yeah, no. uh, Gunfather says that Peter Palmer's mag shape cleaning kits ever take off. Um, I I think I have one. I have one. Uh, uh, Patrick, you probably have one too. I know Walter since uh, last Christmas. <laughs> Well, no, Walter kept the cleaning kit. Just gave me the case of ammo. <laughs> oh, oh, he, he did. You, you didn't get the kit. No, no, he kept oh. the kit and he dumped a bunch of uh, twenty-two in there for me. Which it's it is still down in the safe. I got to shoot all that twenty-two up. It's oh, the okay. it's the red and green twenty-two for Christmas. That's he's yeah. yeah, those are out there. It's MS clean kits. Yeah, he's still dead. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're out there. Yeah. Peter uh, Peter graduated from he got his degree in some in like construction something something or other so he's out there working making money now not running around with holes in his shoes anymore like he was in, in the days when I was hanging out with him what's his uh, uh, what's his his shooting heritage was he military yeah Peter was a um, marine scout sniper ah okay yeah so he's a real deal shooter not not some yes yeah <laughs> <laughs> and he's crazy to boot. So, yeah. You know, the training that they do with those guys. For example, I remember when we met Walter, we went to Sofic, which is a special operators, something, something, some kind of gun show one, in Tampa. So at some point, I want to go because it's not far. Yeah. And right, I remember, uh, I'm telling a story, but. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know that. <laughs> I said about Sofit. Yeah. Well, I was just yeah, I was just telling about Peter that when I met him, uh, we went to the Sofic thing and we were staying, we were sharing a hotel room. And Peter was crazy. He was going out, and I said, Peter, when you come back in here, do not mess with me because you will get shot. <laughs> I remember saying that to him, and he took it seriously. You know, because I mean, I I sleep with my gun or whatever, so he took it seriously. He, I didn't see him. He went out to some like you know at at that show to get these generals or whoever it is to buy stuff they take them out on these yachts and you know what goes on the hookers the the, the cocaine or whatever goes down so he went off to one of these things and i didn't see him come back so in the morning i was really really worried about him you know and i was driving around looking for peter finally i found him um like a couple of blocks from the show and he was like all disheveled and everything and i remember underneath the bridge yeah. So, yeah. So I always like I carry emergency wipes with me. You know, Peter's cleaning. I was like, Peter, what what the hell happened to you? He was like, oh, you know, I didn't want to come back because you said, don't, don't disturb you. <laughs> Peter slept under some bushes. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> yeah. And he was like, it's no big deal, man. I had to do that when I was training. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> in downtown Tampa, he's slept underneath the bush. Yeah, that he's yeah, he's, he's hey, you go to downtown Tampa, there's plenty of homeless people. They probably didn't even bat an eye. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like I was just another drunk homeless guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, baby face. Here we go. Yeah, so let's see this thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this oh. is a Browning, Browning Arms Holy Company. Crap. Um made in Belgium, assembled in Portugal. Wow, Walter, that looks good. 
They're oh, awesome that's guns. That's in good nick. It's it's a commercial gun. Oh, okay. Um, oh yeah, I've always shot it once. I think it's. I got. Oh, they're friend. fantastic. They 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 have that glove feeling of a 1911 where it's like fits your hand and you're like, oh, it feels so good. <laughs> yeah. The Canadians. Right. Did you see the article recently where the Canadians were complaining they're still using these in Canada? They really are. And I guess they've been salvaging parts off of old guns, and they Jesus complain they're God. not reliable. This is haven't made English guns since like 1948, probably. <laughs> this is one of the premier. Well, it used to be one of the premier automatics and you know military type guns because of the way they worked. You know, I mean, they're awesome. Yeah, it's a, the first like commercially viable double stack mag and everything. It's I mean, awesome. Even even the Nazis used them. Come on. Yeah, yeah. When they when they took over Belgium, they yeah. made, they forced them to produce the gun for them. <laughs> they kept right on making them. So, yeah. By the way, Weston Probe says on season one of Top Shot, Colby asked Palma if he was nervous. He said, no, uh, no one's shooting back. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> if you have, if you like Top Shot, it's a re that's like to me one of the best reality shows out there. You yeah. go look at that first season, like the first night, Peter Palma, I think at the end of the show, he was he was fighting with someone in the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> So I always have those yeah. wild shorts on and stuff. Yeah. How long have you known Peter Palma? Oh, for probably like five years or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. And uh my dog loves him way more than me. So <laughs> more than you know. me? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. He likes dog kisses, which is totally disgusting. Oh, you love dog kisses. Uh, I don't do yeah. dog kisses, no. Yeah. I love dog kisses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was practically tonguing down sailor. Oh man, uh, I love him. yeah, I yeah, but Peter's a good guy, man. He's a really good dude. So, yeah, you want me to bring the the Browning out next time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fantastic. Guns. You got to shoot oh. some old old school, old school stuff. I need to find it. See if it's Yeah, so old school stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's see. What other new stuff do we have here? Uh, what what so new last, stuff is going last on? Last of the news before, when are you guys coming back? When are we doing our next show? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, here's some quick, just uh, random trivia. So, who saw 2016's Ghostbusters, like the all chick oh, Ghostbusters? Oh, yeah. yeah. Horrible. Ab abomination. Oh. Yeah, horrible. I another one, right? Huh? Coming out with another one? Yeah. Yes. So um, Jason Reitman has a secret Ghostbusters movie in the works. If yeah. you look it up, you'll see a trailer for it. It's coming out summer 2020, yeah. but they didn't show anything. I, I don't think it's going to be an all-female one. Did you read so. about that, though, a little bit? Supposedly what? they're going to have those. Um, um, <laughs> Choose your words wisely. <laughs> those biatches. In this this movie too, I think. Or something. Oh really? Oh well, then they're gonna They'll ruin. Destroy it if they do. Try yeah, to. here's the thing. I not. I mean, there were there. There's been women in movies since the beginning of movies called but pornos. That movie was not, um, the concept is, <laughs> the concept is not yeah. is not female. Yeah. And I'm not. I'm not. I mean, the Ghostbusters movies had Sigourney Weaver, one of the most statuesque, beautiful women that exists on the face of the planet. She wasn't yeah. a Ghostbuster though. Um. Yeah, no, she wasn't. She wasn't a Ghostbuster. Yeah. And I'm not against there being. Um, there was a female Ghostbuster. The uh, what's her name? The, uh, the oh, um, Annie Potts. Yeah, but so here's so here's the thing. Like, don't make movies about gender identity politics. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Just make a movie for the fun of it, and have women in there and men in there, and make it fun. And you know, don't try to like teach us lessons about shit. There needs mm -hmm. to be banter, sexual banter between the. The characters, you know, I say Bill Murray. Can you imagine Bill Murray comes on? Hey, hey, what? You know, she's he's all like cocky and everything. All all today with this stuff now, where you can't say anything to anybody. Hey, babe, what's up? <laughs> That's yeah. it. You know, Mister F N A says he doesn't see the attraction. Um, Sigourney Weaver was pretty. She was pretty cool back in the day. So she's all right, kind of yeah, skinny, but like yeah. Her. I would take Sigourney Weaver over. What's that? Uh, Michael Jackson looking like chick that you guys like? God damn. <laughs> she looks bad now. Sandra Bullock. Sandra yeah, Bullock. She looks bad. <laughs> I keep I trying to tell you guys. Happened. No one wants to believe me. Go look uh, at Bird Box. Something <laughs> happened to her in here for. Yeah. Go look at Bird Box, which I refuse to watch. I haven't I haven't watched it. I just know it's been memefied all over the internet. I, I watched it. I just watched it. Was it okay, any good? How was it? How was it? Yeah. I I thought it was fine. I thought it was good. 
Okay, why? Because of Sandra Bullock? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just say yes. Just say yes. No, it, it was, it was, I don't know, the movie was different. And I mean, it's like, I, I feel like every movie I watch is like just a, a repop of something I've already seen. And this one was really different. I, I, I liked it. Yeah. I think you're right on that. There's lots of repopping going on out there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. So that's one thing there in the news. Here's another thing I saw on Fox this morning that I thought was interesting. Um, CNN analyst Ariva Martin accused radio <laughs> host David Webb of white privilege. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Webb that, happens to be black. That's that's typical. Though. That was funny. I yeah. thought that was funny. Yeah. Look at the auto response. The yeah. auto response is, well, you have white. white privilege. It's like, you don't yeah. even know. I'm black. And it's like. Yeah. So, I mean, just to set it up, these were two radio personalities talking to each other. Both of them were black. Black woman, uh, David David Webb, I think is his name. He's uh, a black black guy, and they were having a conversation. And when when the uh, liberal chick didn't like what he was saying, she said, "You're suffering from white privilege." Did, what, did he, he just like? Uh, he was like, man. "You obviously haven't done any research because yeah. I'm black." <laughs> Jesus, I need to hear this this conversation. Yeah. So then hilarious. I didn't I didn't hear it, but you know, what do you say after that? Get how off you, my show. You, you have nothing worth listening to. Your, right. Your, your opinion your, is not worth listening to if that's your yeah. only thing you got. Yeah, I think she apologized and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, come <laughs> I on. she had a backpedal really hard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So uh, I thought that, okay, that was interesting. That was interesting. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah. Uh, Boom. Okay. Let's see. Oh, what's that? You're I bet you've never seen one of these. Ooh. What is that? Now, don't get too excited. Uh, little Derringer? This is a Cobra uh, or a. Is that one a of the Leonad, 45? A Leonad double barrel 410 or, or 45 mm -hmm. long Colt Derringer. I like it. I like it. They're cool. Those things are neat. Uh, yeah, probably it kind of beats you up when you shoot it because it, every edge on this sheet metal frame is sharp. Yep. But um, yeah, this kind of a. Yeah. You haven't lived to your shot three. So, you uh, so what are you saying? You didn't, you didn't like how it um, performs or what's the deal? Well, you know, it's not one of those guns you go out and shoot a hundred rounds through. You just got okay, it works good enough. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll bring it out sometime. We can have. We need to have a uh, like a cheap a cheap a cheap pistol revival, where everything is everything is cheap. I'm that into that. That could be done. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. Yeah. I'll bring my whole handgun collection except for my CZ. <laughs> 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 I got a few inexpensive ones too, but yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so. let's see what else. I'm trying to flip through here, see if there's any other new stuff that's been coming up. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to really look at the video of this CP33 pistol from Caltech, but it, I, I'm interested in that. Bond stack? Did they say how many rounds is going to be in it? Um, I think you could, somewhere between 30, 33 and 50. Jesus. Do, yeah, that's going to be cool. Yeah. yeah, if it, if they can make it work, it'll be pretty cool. One place I got to get over to, and I get over, I didn't get over to last year was the Radon booth. Oh, okay. Which is Polish, the, the Polish, Polish guys. Yeah, I didn't realize yeah. they were at shot. Show. Yeah, Radon, oh, Radon, and I know this Walter for a reason. Has yeah. the MSB? Is it the MSBS? Because it's a bull pup. Oh, oh yeah, they, they do they do they do a few different versions <laughs> of the rifle. Mike yeah. just Mike just looked up and whatever and he puked. He threw, Mike and just gave me a real ah. nasty look. <laughs> He just gave a real nasty look. Yeah, I, I'm waiting for that Radon M. Uh, I think it's called the MSBS M, something like that. Really good looking bullpup, I think. Yeah, because they yeah. they took that same action and they had it in a in a conf conventional rifle than a bullpup, and mm -hmm. you know a full length and then a carbine. And um, last time I talked to those guys over there, they were like, "I said, when you bring it to the U.S.? Well, first we get to the military, and then if we get to the military, then we will bring it to the U.S." So um, they wanted to get military contract in Poland. So yeah. Oh, okay. Did they ever get that? Do you know? I think they did actually. Oh, cool. So, All right, awesome. So we can look forward to that. Well, hopefully they do it. They'll keep yeah. Word. I kind of like that. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say that I like that better than the Desert Tech one. Um, I still, I still haven't shot that Desert Tech thing. I know there's a couple of them out there, but it I haven't had the, a chance. The, to one of the ugliest bullpups <laughs> ever designed. The Desert Real. Tech. Yeah. Really? Looks like, like a it? triangle. It's oh, just skinny up front and like wide in the back. 
How how do you pick the ugliest ball pop? <laughs> <there? laughs> oh, you. Okay, that's like, that's like its own category. And on that note, it was nice and having Mike, Mike from uh, ATI. Yeah, Mike. <laughs> can't mute him. I can't mute him. We still see you later, Mike. We still got to pay the electrical bill. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Mike. Uh, before we wrap up here, man, can we see the 1911 one more again? It's time. <laughs> Is that asking too much? Yeah. Eye candy from ATI Outdoors. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a good gander at that. Stop, if you're going to the time. SHOT Show, stop by their booth and see it in person. Yeah. What's your booth number at SHOT Show, Mike? Man, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just you can look it Come up. On. It's ATI. It's going to be one of the first ones. It's in the directory. On the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, damn it. They hand those things out all over the place. So get your we're, top We're one, on the yeah. main floor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, actually, um, they're not very far from us, actually. I don't think. Yeah. Okay. Nico Ghost Gunner sent me something. Okay. So let's wrap this up here. Let's wrap this up. Uh, hold on. Walter, you're going to like this. Um, I think I have one of these. VZ, VZ52? Yeah, you got one. So Nico do I. Ghost Gunner, yeah. 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 yeah I we got, got a, one of those. I should, we should bring out the, uh, do a com block. Comp pistol shoot. Bring out the the Just CZ. Like bring out stuff. the talk revs I have. You know all that good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any Chinese guns? Yes, I do. Okay. I have one. Handguns? Yes. Talk rev. Oh, talk rev is Chinese. I well, I, ha I have the a one talk that you, rev the Chinese. You have. Chinese. Oh, talk cool. Rev, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, yeah, yeah. we should do that. We yeah. should do that. Okay. Let's uh, unknown user says hello. I'm showing up at the closing time. Yes, we got a couple of minutes here, so um, I'm gonna run down the list here and just um, you know uh, let everyone get their final words Mr. in. FNH Mr. FNH, FNH says, anyone shot a Tavor X95? Yes, I have one. It's it's pretty awesome. cool. Yes, it's pretty like cool. I like it. Yeah, I dig it. So, okay, let's go down. Babyface P, how can the people keep in touch with you? You're going to be holding down the fort here in Florida. Uh, by myself, yeah. Uh, be all in my lonesome over here. Um, Facebook, uh, not Facebook, Instagram, baby underscore face P. Um, dogs and guns, buckshot and guns, neck bone and guns. Yeah. Um, yeah, YouTube is babyface P. Just do a search, I'll come up. Yeah, while we're gone, set up a Facebook, man, because you can have your stuff go to face, uh, Instagram and Facebook at the same I time. You actually care that much about me? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do actually care. You will, your children will thank me in the future. When, they, when I'm super famous and <laughs> yeah, they will thank and Uncle Strange. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. So check out babyface P there on Instagram. He'll be holding down the fort. Uh, Walter, you're yes, gonna sir. be out there with me. Yeah, you remember your it. you remember your booth number. Two zero six one three. There you go. Look at that. Walter's Yeah. Booth. Well, I've been to the same damn place for <laughs> how long now? Forever. Yeah. Yeah. Since Methuselah had a, a booth at Shot. What ebbs, what ebbs. <laughs> yeah. And the price goes up every year. Um yeah, two zero six one three at shot. If you're out there, stop by. We have plenty of swag and stuff like that. Get a get a picture with Hank. Picture with oh, Hank. Okay. Yeah. 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 Um uh, what else going on here? Uh, making the MP5 parts for the MP5K. So if you guys are waiting on a stock or want a stock, we're working on that. Yeah, as well as the Strybog. I think we're going to turn on the Strybog video sometime soon. Yep. And um, when we get back from shop, we're making parts for that too because I have a feeling that's going to be very popular. So. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to turn on that video pretty soon. That's a that's like a, going to be a shot show titled uh, video. So that's probably hopefully we can go over the, so. to the Eagle Imports booth and get some. Uh, Get some good shots of some stuff they're bringing in. So yeah, oh, absolutely. oh yeah. Before before we move on, quick follow up. I need somebody with a crank. I need somebody out there that has a crank that wants to test something for me. A beta tester. I got beta your tester. crank right here. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a crank and you want to be a beta tester, hit me up. Hit me up. Call me up. <laughs> that is code. That is code for something. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Is that is that V two that got this is V one. Okay. The 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 missed dimension. Or, yeah, I was told how to fix that. Yeah, and I okay. made it. yeah. Um, uh, if you don't know what we're talking about here, Mike, Babyface P is getting into the parts making business. I made something. I actually, pro well, Walter produced it. I just designed it, but yeah, we'll see how it does. Yeah, we'll see how it runs. Yeah, yeah. and his whole marketing plan is to put the Babyface P dick butt logo on it. <laughs> <laughs> My work. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's and then they put the, put the scope, they put the side on top of it, and you can't see it. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there you go. Okay, Mike from ATI Outdoors, can we see the 1911 one more one again more before time. we go? And then no. tell the people. Oh, come on. 
please, please, please. Good. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what do we want to pitch to the folks out there before we end this? We wrap up this uh, this show. Well, we're getting ready to go to Shot Show, just like you know everyone else is, except for Baby Face. Sorry about that. Uh, so we're gonna have the uh, 1911 Mini there. We're gonna have a uh, a new AR Mini. Uh, we're gonna have some 308 parts. Uh, that'll be brand new. Nice, nice. Ooh. Um, booth fifteen nine twenty four. I do oh. know what our booth number is. <laughs> you <ain't> looked it up. <laughs> he googled it. <laughs> we we just like Safe Harbor. We've been in the same spot for years. So yep, yep. Uh, but uh, so that's kind of what we got going on. We have minis. We have three hundred eight parts. Um, so that's kind of the, the gist of what we got going on here. So I'll be on the road for probably the next. Three months here, bounce around shows all over the U.S., Canada, and uh, yeah, is this you the guys are going to you good? guys you guys are going to Nuremberg, right? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I want to I want to go there. I want to go bad. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's um, it's awesome. <laughs> Just so you know, it's pretty. <laughs> Just so you know, you're missing all <laughs> all kinds of beers yeah. there in Nuremberg, yeah. probably too. Yeah. Uh, you you walk in, you get your newspaper, and you get your breakfast, and you get a beer, and then you go to your booth. <laughs> oh. Awesome! Awesome! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This is the kickoff of the of your season of traveling around, right? Yeah, I was just in Minneapolis. I was in Nashville before that. I've got shot show next week in Vegas. I go from there to I think Phoenix. Then I go to Calgary, Canada, and so on from there. Oh, okay. So I guess say what's I'll up to around. Drake for us when you're out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everybody yeah, I think him. Drake is in Toronto or something, though, probably. Yeah, that's uh, way east for where yeah. I'm going to be. <laughs> yeah, okay, awesome. You know, you guys check out atioutdoors.com. They've got like 25% off. Yeah. Um, for anyone who's going to be at SHOT Show, please stop by, visit. You know, Walter is at Safety Harbor Firearms. Mike's going to be at the ATI booth. Um, I'm going to be hanging out in all those places, harassing those guys. I'll also be at the Fort Scott booth. There you go. Uh, what other booths am I? I can't remember what other booths I'll be hanging out with, but I'll be hanging out with people, having fun. Uh, look forward to seeing whoever is going out there. If you're not going out there and there's things you're really super interested in, you can hit any one of us up and we'll try to, you know, we'll try to get it, uh, get something for you, at least get a picture or a couple of pictures or something going for folks out there. All right. So that's it. We will see you guys when we get back and we'll see you while we're on the road and, and the posts and everything. Everyone be safe out there. Thanks to everyone for joining us, participating. Had a great night. Good night. We're out of here.